Hello everyone, happy new year. This is my first stream of the year. I guess we streamed until after midnight on New Year's Eve, but <laughs> it's the first actual stream of the year. Hello, hello, hello. My cat is on my desk. Look, proof of cat. She wanted to hang out. She thought it would be fun to get some attention for the first one. <laughs> Careful with the headphone cord. What are you doing? Anyway, hi everybody. <laughs> um, it's good to see you. I thought we could do some building today. I don't know. It'll be kind of fun. Also, I cut my hair yesterday. Look, I'm gonna be honest. When I'm wearing these headphones, I feel like it looks like I don't have any hair. <laughs> Cause it's like, like attached to my head. I don't know. Oh, that's fine though. Oh well. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't do the best job this time with my haircut, but usually you can't tell when I'm streaming cause you only see like, you know? So it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, anyway, happy new year. I'm trying to get my Sims game open, but it's taking a long time to load. So give me a sec. All right. We should be good now. <laughs> Grace and Elise and Winifred and Dilla and Acacia. Who else? Uh, Daph and Alice and Seraph and Laura, Tara, Breville, Jess, Kath, Purple, uh, Mystic and Abs and Let's Go and Juan and Super and oh no, 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 no. Who else? I think that's it actually. Okay, good. I'm caught up. Yay. <laughs> Let me get the game capture properly working too. Uh, but this will be fun. So. First stream came from YouTube. Oh, hey, welcome in. It's good to see you. I'm glad that you could pop into the stream and hang out with us live for a little bit. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna build today. I'm gonna be honest. I like, <laughs> I've been thinking about it for the past few minutes and I was like, I might just have to ask them because I don't really know. I haven't decided. Usually I have an idea today, no ideas, no thoughts. Head empty. <laughs> Bell house? Oh, not yet. We need to wait a little bit longer for that. Um, I'll wait until baby is, I don't know, maybe two more episodes from now. I'll build the bell house. I need to give myself some more time. We need to know how much money we're actually gonna have and stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Cottage, that was what I was thinking. I was like, maybe I'll build like a little farmhouse or something. <laughs> Community lot. Ooh, I don't know about that part. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that part. Um, we shall see. We shall see. An only orange house? Orange? Ooh, I don't know. We'll have to see about that too. <laughs> what kind I guess, let's think about that for a second. Let's think colors, okay? I don't build, I mean, we've been doing some more orange builds recently. But like, what kind of color do we never, okay, don't say blue. <laughs> okay, we can't say blue, we can't even joke about blue. We'll get hate comments if we do a blue house. <laughs> we can't build something else. Purple? I guess we're gonna have to do a purple house kind of soon for Not So Berry. So if we do a purple house now, people are gonna think it's for Not So Berry. But purple is fun. I do love green as well. I don't know. Purple would be kind of cute though. Hmm. Hmm. Brown? Okay, that's no fun. <laughs> that's no fun. Pale yellow, please. Yellow is a really nice color too. One of my favorite builds that we've done in a long time was the yellow not so berry house. That like mid-century house with the um the rocket ship in the middle. <laughs> That was really fun to build. I really enjoyed that one. Um, but I don't know. Red, you hate red. I do hate red. I do hate red. <laughs> Maybe we should do like a poll or something. Everybody wants to do something more pastel. I don't want to build it here. No red, please. I'm okay. So part of my concern specifically is that I like with purple, there's so many, cause I love the idea of purple, but there's so many purple things that suck. Like when you look at, for example, the purple counter options, wait, let me show you. It's like beautiful pastel, but kind of rustic or like straight up ugly. <laughs> we don't have a, a wide variety of like cute purple. Do you know what I mean? And it's really upsetting. 
Because this is this is beautiful, but this unacceptable. Unacceptable. So maybe we could try. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Snap is being really cute. She's being so needy today. I think that she got a little bit upset. I think that yesterday stressed her out because Dan's family went home yesterday. Um they're gone. They're home now. Um but I think her seeing all of the suitcases was was a stressful experience. I think that she thought she was going to get left. But she didn't. I'm still here. But I, I think that she was a bit sad because all of her friends left. And then she thought we were going to leave too, probably. But we didn't. Why didn't I stream yesterday? Oh, because Dan's family went home uh, yesterday. Dan's parents and siblings have been here for like a week and a half. Um, and yesterday they went home. So I couldn't stream yesterday because I was a bit busy. <laughs> um, so we, we didn't go live yesterday. Dan actually streamed for like 30 minutes. And then we went straight to the airport after they got offline. So... Purple fairy cottage? Oh. A little purple cottage though. You know? I think I'm a little bit set on the purple thing. I know we talked about purple. I think I'm a little set on purple. Like a little pastel purple sort. And we could do it on like this cottage lot. And it would be so cute. Do green. I do love green, but I feel like I always do green. I haven't done purple in a while. We've been doing a lot of... A lot of, uh, pink. Building a purple cottage. I'm changing the title. There we go. Now we know what we're doing. We figured it out. <laughs> we figured it out. And it won't be, like, all purple. It'll have some other colors. But, the you know, we pick, like, a main vibe. Like, we'll try and have, like, purple kitchen or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and catch up with some subs, though. So give me one second while I try and catch up. Um, Ghost Onions with a 24 months... Dilemma and Boombox, English, Lucky, Ren, Lavender. <gasps> Lavender, love bug. Oh my God. This one's for you. You are in the right place today, my friend. <laughs> uh, Marley, China, uh, Canadian, Peachy, Kimberly, Sky, Froggy, Kona, Sarah, Apollo. Also, hi, uh, Shella. You're in the right place today, too. We're making a purple house. Um, <laughs> like a pastel purple vibe is what we're going for. It's purple day. Yes. Shella loves purple. Um, she kind of, it's kind of weird. She has like a like a feud with Spring Sims over it. It's kind of it's kind of like scary. They like argue about purple and yellow. I don't know if you all seen, but like they like actually fight. They had like a fist fight. <laughs> See, she said she hates him. It was it was wild. <laughs> anyway, the uh, spider mini fan and and Am and Hattie and Elizabeth and Moosey and Anna and Desert and Cricket and BC and Devin and Sunshine and Cami, uh, Canadian Ally, Therese, Flimsy, Riley, Angel. Uh, Naya, Blue Rose, Liv, Purple Phoenix! <laughs> You're here on a good day, too. <laughs> Carly, Anna, uh, who else? Local Honey, Unholy, Chelsea, French, Rachel, Ladybugs, Holly, Isabella, Anne, and Abla, and Seagull, and Leah, and A, and Emma, and oh my god, Phil. I'm sorry if I missed anything. I'm really not trying to. No, Shella is not my sister. Um, it'd be fun if we were related, though. That'd be cool. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. Oh yeah, Twitch was like down earlier. I got nervous about that. A few hours ago, Twitch was like totally broken. I was like, they better fix it before four because I'm supposed to stream tonight. I'm going to be upset if they're not fixed. It is fixed. So we should be okay. But it like wasn't loading at all. Twitch has been rough today. I don't know if any of you were online when that happened, but it was weird. It was really, really weird. Yeah, it was like totally, totally down. No, it wasn't just your computer, it was everybody. I don't know what happened. They tweeted something like, Twitch is having problems with pages loading, but it was like nothing was working. The whole website just sucked. <laughs> so, I was, I felt bad because a bunch of my friends were doing sponsored streams today. Uh, literally like half of our Among Us lobby had a sponsored stream today. Maybe even more than half. Well, everybody had a sponsored stream today in the Among Us lobby. <laughs> And then Twitch was down. It was a disaster. Um, but it's obviously it's out of anybody's control. But that sucks when that kind of thing happens, you know. Um, anyway, Peyton and Joey and Nocturnal and, and uh, Chloe, Nelly, Nameless, Min, Leafy and Perfect and Baby and Planet and Missy and Carrie and Barry and Stony and Via and Straub and oh my god, thank you all so much. It's not for Not So Berry. No, I just, we, we sort of just wanted to build something purple. Um, I, I realized that our next generation of Not So Berry is the purple gen, so <laughs> we're probably going to be back uh, and probably going to be doing this again soon, but today it's just because we feel like it. 
just for fun. No particular reason, no particular sim in mind. It's just because we want to. So, oh really, Brina? That's so exciting. That's so exciting. Are you gonna leave me? No! Abandon her. Hopefully she'll sit in her cat cam spot. That would be fun. That would be very, very fun. So, anyway, we'll figure out what to do. No video yesterday? No, Haunted, I'm sorry. I pre-recorded 15 videos because <laughs> I couldn't uh, record while Dan's family was in town. And and uh, to be completely honest with you, after I had made 15, I said, I, I just simply cannot do this anymore. So you got 15 and that was a miracle. Let's just say that much. <laughs> uh, but I, I, they're gone now so I can record again. We had video today and stuff. Um, but yeah, I was, uh, I had a very nightmarish couple of weeks before they got here before Christmas. <laughs> so we didn't miss any uploads though in, until yesterday. That was fine. I decided that was fine. So <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, I think we should probably be able to start building soon now, right? Are we caught up? Are we good? Are we ready? Are we ready? I don't know what it's gonna look like. This is one of those times where we're probably just gonna wing it. I don't know. I don't know. Claire, Breezy, hello! Uh, Nisi and Blue Eyed and Apple and KM and Ryan, Bella. Thank you all so much. Did I not post yesterday because Dan's family was leaving? Well, no, not completely. I just, um, as I said, I was trying to pre-record before they got here. Um, and they were here for a long time, so it was a lot. <laughs> I had a lot to do. Um, oh, my throat. That was weird, sorry. I had a lot to do before they got here, um, and so I just, I, I simply could not um, get an extra one done. I did 15 instead of 16, um, so that's why I didn't upload yesterday. <laughs> I gave myself some grace with one. I think that's okay. Anyway, I hope I, I'm all cut up, everybody. I'm so sorry again if I missed any subs. Thank you all so much. And now we can build. <laughs> can I add mushrooms to the house? Yes, that would be so cute. Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna look at colors first, and then we can figure out shape. I'm just trying to think like... Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> um... I wonder if we could get like a, a sort of combination of a stone sort of vibe. Like... Do any of these look good with the purple? You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if we could, ooh, lighting's ugly. This law is weird. This isn't like lavender either, which is so sad. This is a nice light color. That's kind of like leaning a little, oh, I need to get a sim here, I can't do this. <sighs> oh no. We could probably get some paneling too. We'll try and mix it up. I'm gonna bring a sim though. Honestly, Stanley, I cannot afford this lot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Your sim self? Oh. Maybe. Strangely laggy for you? Is it today? I'm not dropping any frames right now, so I don't think it's on my end, and I don't think it's on Twitch's end today either. Um, but that is very weird. All right, Stanley, my guy. Give me some money. Um, we can try and... Oh, lighting's terrible. Will this, will this do? Let me get the clouds away. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, we're sunny again. That's better. That is better. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> And for some reason, Malcolm Landgrab is here. Honestly, that's kind of scary. Anytime Malcolm Landgrab shows up, it's concerning to say the least, you know? Okay, now I can build, sorry. <laughs> Took me long enough. I don't really know what it's gonna look like yet. This is gonna be, we'll, we'll figure it out. What world is this? Uh, this is Henford on Bagley, the world that came with, um, it's the world that came with uh, Cottage Living if you're familiar at all with that one. It's a nice, a nice world. Um, let's go like this wide, I think. 
Good choice. Yeah, I think it is nice. Oh, you mean because it's purple. Okay, never mind, Chilla. <laughs> I thought you meant about the lot. I was like, yeah, this is a nice pick, this lot. It's a, it's a pretty lot. No, Shella just thinks that she likes that it's purple. Is this gonna be a shell challenge? Um, no, not this one. I think maybe we'll do another shell challenge in a couple weeks, though. Um, I feel like we kind of just did a shell challenge, so I'm like sort of holding off a little before we like jump into the next one. Oh, that looks terrible. Oh. Besties. Hmm. <laughs> Amazing Grace, Al, and, and Stu, Bella, Alyssa, Rebecca, Kay, Mile, thank you all for the subs. Okay, maybe I could do this with like, perhaps I could copy it. What are we building? Some sort of purpley cottage. Hard to say. We shall figure it out. We're not entirely sure yet, though, what it's gonna be like. That's the beauty of it all. Um. Okay. Hang on. Place this here. Fix it like that. It looks like a barn. Balcony with fairy lights. Balcony is cute. Balcony is attainable. I like that idea. That's cool. That's cool. Mazzy, thank you for the five gifted subs, by the way. Uh, Boots and Missy and Love and Amazing, thank you for the subs too. I'm so sorry if I missed any chat. I'm so, so, so not trying to. I know that you know this, but I, I'm so sorry if I missed anything. Um, okay. I really like the idea of... Do I want it to be, this is the thing, do we want it to be like curved at all? Or is that like a dangerous sort of plan? I'm not sure. It might be a little. Curved is cute, but then when you make things curved, like the roof is always so odd. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the roof lines don't like line up properly. So you have to be so careful about curves because they can be like so weird. Ooh, that's kind of funky. I don't know. I don't know. It's all an experiment. All we have right now is that we want it to be purple. <laughs> From there, anything goes. Yeah, it's kind of whimsical almost, but then I feel like Maybe this is bad. Make it wider. This can be fine if it's wider. Ooh, even wider. We shall see. We shall see. Make it overgrown? Yeah, maybe. That's kind of fun. You think Roll of Magic Windows? That's also kind of a fun idea. We'll have to see. I'm gonna be honest, I really, really don't like the realm of magic windows. Um, I'm sure many of you have probably noticed because I never use them. I just, I, there's something about them that I really, really find difficult to use. Oh my God, that is also difficult. Um, but yeah, I'm not like the biggest fan of the realm of magic windows. Um, I want to like them, but they're like so big that I, I find them extremely difficult to fit in most of the time. So I, I, I tend to struggle with, with using them. Not liking this anymore. Not liking this anymore. Um. Oh my goodness, I curved it too much. I like a little bit of a curve, but that doesn't seem curved enough. I don't know. We will see. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple that have some nice plane swatches on them. I'm thinking, I'm kind of speaking more specifically when I say I don't like them about like the round ones. I find the round row of magic windows kind of hard to use. You know, like the big circle ones? Um, they're definitely kind of cute, but I really struggle with those. What gen are we on for Nasa Berry? We're on gray gen, Tori, so we'll be on the purple gen soon. Um, which is not why I'm building this. 
In fact, this is a coincidence. I just felt like making something um, cottagey today. But any inspiration? No, just cottage. <laughs> Nothing in particular, just cottage. What's the gray gen of Not So Berry? It's um, basically in the Not So Berry challenge, each generation is like a color theme. You can Google it if you're curious about like how the rules work and stuff. Um, okay. Do I wanna do this? I'm not sure yet, we shall see. Oh, you just got Cottage Living? Oh, that's fun, I hope you like it. Cottage Living is like genuinely a really fun pack. Um, okay, that is tight. <laughs> um, it's not really screaming like, I'm in a cottage, yet. You like it? Okay, good. Probably will need a moat. Okay, probably. <laughs> oh my goodness. At least this part up here um, has a, a good amount of space as well. So that helps. We can definitely like hide a bedroom up here. So that'll be fun. Um. At least some alligators in a pond. Oh, we could do a pond. We should definitely do a pond. Um, add a fake balcony on the window on this part? That might be kind of cute. Is that like too... Should I make it skinnier if I'm gonna do that? What do you think? Oh. Oh. I liked it when it was four wide. Maybe I could use that somewhere else. Cause that is like so cute. That would be kind of cute on like the side or something maybe, you know? We shall see. We shall see. Wrap around balcony on the side. Oh, do you think it needs like a whole wrap around balcony? Oh gosh, okay. We'll have to think about that. All right, well we know this place is gonna be purple. <laughs> and that's all we know. Um, I was thinking about trying to like do a, a serious combination of some purple, of some stone, like a nice light gray stone, maybe even a dark gray stone, hard to say, but of like some purple, some stone. Oh, she's clawing on her chair. It's very rude. Of some purple, of some stone, and also of maybe some like wood paneling or something. You know? You know? I don't know. Haley, Evan, Kay, and Jenny, and Kay, and Kaylee, thank you for the subs. I never understand her. She only does it when I'm streaming, and it's, she has a cat scratching post right here, and she uses it all the time. Also, hang on one second, because I've got cat cam I can set up. Okay. It's not gonna be very good angles but it'll, it'll do for now. Um, okay, besties, I'm not sure about this. We'll see. Love a cat cam though. First cat cam of the year. <laughs> She's not even looking at it. <laughs> um, oh no. How about, this is a nice paneling. Cause it's like, Oh, the lighting is so bad. Should I like... Should I try and build it this way so I can just see the light better? And then like go from there or something? It's... I don't know. The past few worlds they've given us have like really had terrible lighting. Have anybody else noticed that? Cause I have. Um, yeah, Phil, I already, trust me, I already tried that. <laughs> I couldn't find one that was good. Um, okay, that's really annoying about the roof too. Just one, does it? Okay, two and it doesn't clip. All right, that's fine. Oh, that's not fine. 
Okay, that's fine. Not adoring this situation. Maybe like the main building should be stone. I something about stone is just not working for me. This is very difficult. We're gonna be here all day. Oh, cute! Oh my gosh, wait. Or this? Oh, I'm not sure. I do love this one though. I think the stone is too dark. Yeah, the stone's a little dark. Okay, we're getting better cat cam now. That's like a slightly brighter purple as well, which gives us like maybe more to go off of. Maybe I could switch it to this one. Paint everything. Just just paint everything. It's fine. Maybe a brick instead of a stone. Yeah, I know. I guess the brick maybe would be more um, practical or something. I just, I really prefer like the look of the stone for the style of the house, you know? Same reason I like this sort of thing. Maybe I could use that though. That might be nice. I wonder if we could get something gray. Gray could be good. We use purple and gray. The stone from Cottage Living. Yeah, we have to look at the Cottage Living stuff. Um, cottage Living. We do have like a wide. Oh, that comes in like a really, um. Oh, it's so hard to tell what color is best. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That is nice though. I do like that. Hmm. Isn't that pink and not purple? No, that's, I would say that's purple. Um, if you think it's pink, then you can say it's pink, but in, in my mind, I think it's purple, so. A section under the chimney is stone. Ah. Yeah, is that too much stone on the sides though? I can't tell. I want like a paneling. It's also the lighting isn't helping. This The lighting on this lot sucks. Like actually sucks. So. I wish we had like this sort of texture in a pastel purple. Cause that would be so beautiful. Um, no, I don't like that. Should we, okay, new question. What if most of the house was stone and we had purple accents? Like that. Is that better? Unsure. Can't tell. Gonna have to figure it out. Really, really unsure though. <laughs> I feel like we can we can make it work. It's gonna take us a bit, but we can we'll try. And once we have like some landscaping and stuff, I've never tried to use this wallpaper as like an exterior wallpaper before. So it's, it's definitely gonna be like a, I don't know, learning curve. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's gonna be so nice. Would fit in so good in Sylvan Glade. Oh, it would, that would be cool. I don't really like it. <laughs> I wish that the walls have more texture. You know what I mean? That's not the right shade of purple. Belle, Curious, Evil, Panthers, Love for All Peoples, and Corinne, and Chicky, and Jenna, and Amy, and oh my gosh, Peanut, Lemon, Lemonade, and Totally, and Kaylee, thank you for the subs. Uh, okay. 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 I'm also building this like on the side. <laughs> I'm building this house sideways right now. That's okay. 
something like this. Honestly, even if it had like, it could be like all white. I think that would be okay in this particular situation. Um, at least until we... I don't know. It's kind of cottagey. It's kind of cute. You think the green accents looked good? Oh, really? I'm not sure if I want to go with anything that bold, though. I feel like... Um, oh, look at this. Is that green? Actually, genuinely, is that gray or is that green? I think it's gray, so it should be fine. But that's so cute with the purple. Who's gonna live there? Who's gonna live here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. There's also this one, which honestly I kind of like better. Oh. I feel like that window box is just cuter. Oh, the purple, that would be nice, Shella, actually. That's a good idea. That's better. Okay. I don't know. We can figure out some some stuff like these these sort of things. We'll have to figure that out though. We got to we have to play some everything else first. Oh dear. This could be nice. Decorative, you know. I don't know. Uh, Ava and Rena and Jesse. Oh, no, it's just Jess, sorry. Sammy, Bunsy, and Lola, and Belle, and Curious, and Evil, and Panthers. Thank you for the subs. I messaged Rena my sub. I'm fairly certain I did, Moon Pearl. I'm fairly certain I did. So sorry if I didn't, but I'm almost positive I did. Um, either way, I'm really doing my best right now. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I even... Okay, I need to put these, like, touching. Um, whew. alt placing is annoying, but then I feel like maybe this one shouldn't have it. I don't know. I can't tell. Can we please use the butterfly window? There's a lot of cute stuff like that. We can look. Um, I'm not sure if this one comes in a swatch that would match because do you see how like the butterfly swatch is blue? A lot of the purple has like the dark brown and this house is like very uh, white, you know? So that's why I'm kind of unsure if we can make that work. We could get like a cute little circle window. Realm of Magic has some interesting stuff too. We discussed this earlier before anyone suggests Realm of Magic, I I really, really struggled to use these windows. <laughs> really, really struggled to use these windows. So, I don't know. That one looks better and more cohesive. Yeah, I like how that one looks. I think it's nice. Not entirely sure about this situation. Oh, I broke the entire house. Okay, cool. Cool. I've also now given it, like, such a wide chimney. I don't know. Uh, BF and Rosie and Nerdy, thank you for the subs too, everybody. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Am I still planning to do an Aurora Shell Challenge YouTube video? You know, Lindsay, I wasn't ever planning to do a YouTube video on it just because I didn't really have time. Um, with, uh, like, the holidays and stuff, and, and I we kind of talked about this earlier, but... It, I spent, I had to pre-record like two weeks worth of videos um, for when Dan's family was here. They only left yesterday um, because I couldn't record while they were here. And I just didn't have time to do a shell tour video. <laughs> um, so I was never like 100% planning on doing it. It was more like a, if I could, that would be great, but I've got so much going on. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I'll be able to get one out soon or not, but we shall see. I don't, I wasn't planning on doing it though. With that one, just because I've been so busy the past couple weeks. 
Uh, I don't like any of these. Cause... I guess I don't have to do a fake chimney. We could put like a real one. Oh dear. I don't even know if I like this or not. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Um, this is the actual front of the house over here. All lighting is bad. This lighting is acceptable, but I don't know. We can make this work, it's fine. Could do no chimney. Yeah, no chimney's probably gonna be our best bet. We'll see though, what we can do. We shall see. Is this gonna be a YouTube video too? Uh, maybe. I always record the builds that we do on stream. I have kind of a, a big backlog of videos <laughs> Uh, that we- or of like, bills that we've done on stream that I haven't posted on YouTube yet, so. I guess we'll have to keep that in mind. <sighs> None of these are like, big enough. Let me think about this. Go- I want this to be all the way down. Can I like, move this? And then place this? Are those debug chimneys? These? No, these are just regular chimneys. Um, as far as I'm aware, I don't know if there is debug chimneys. Yeah, see, like, that is better. We just gotta kinda sneak it a little. Cheat the system a bit, if you will. Okay, I'm liking this. This is growing on me. I feel like it's better. We'll have to figure out what we want to do with the side, though. And with the back. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'll probably close that off too, because I don't want the chimney to be cutting into it. I don't know, I don't know. Fen, Laza, Unicorn, Kylie, Chibi with the CC4 months! Oh. <laughs> um, maybe a side garden? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. We would have like a little, um, like garden off to the side over here. Maybe we could have like a, I don't know, pond or something. We'll see. We shall see. I'm trying to figure out how I want to go about this because I am thinking that maybe I should like do a little bit of extra roof on the side even if I don't love how it looks. Just because I want there to be some purple back here. And I figure if I did this, then I could paint this part purple, you know? Chicken coop, maybe. Not a bad idea. Chicken coop, always an option. <laughs> and then maybe we could have like, very similar to the front door situation. Like this sort of vibe. It's gonna have to be a lot smaller, but... Something like that. Oh, I don't really like that though. Okay, unclear on whether or not I like this. We will have to figure this out. I do love this item, but I guess it doesn't come in like... It's so annoying, because it has purple, but like, I don't want it to be Black. The white flowers are okay. We'll figure that out. That might be cute in the front, unless that's too many different kinds of flowers. I don't know. I don't know. No, I couldn't stream yesterday, Starry Sky, because um, Dan's family has been here for the past couple of weeks and they left yesterday. Uh, so we were busy with, with the airport and things during my regular stream time. <laughs> so I couldn't be here yesterday, but uh, back to normal now, now that we don't have guests anymore. But yeah, we were... Uh, Obviously, <laughs> bit busy the past couple weeks uh, having people in town and stuff. I'm sure you understand, but holidays are weird. Things are back to normal now. Or they should be at least. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Don't love this though. Very, very unsure about this right now. 
Um, okay, maybe I'll put it this way. Put a wardrobe where the chimney clips. That's not a bad idea. We could do something like that, maybe. We'll have to see. Oh. Why is it... It's always so annoying. I want the, like, fence part of this to be only... I want it to be only too wide, but I want to have, like, the end of it. Oh, well. Is this going to be a limited packs build? Oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> so sorry, but I don't think so. So, so, so sorry, but I, I think that uh, prob probably probably going to be using a lot of packs on this one. <laughs> If I'm being completely honest with you, I think we've already probably um, used too many packs. So, so no, not really limited packs bill this time around. Okay. A treat for me. You know? Okay. I think that I hate the side of it. <laughs> I'll figure it out. It's fine. Uh, okay. Doing a little bit of copying of the front onto the back. And I think that's probably also okay. Because if we do it like this, this does give us a really clear place to put a bedroom upstairs. It'll be nice and big. If I added a tiny balcony off that side, like upstairs. I'm not sure if I can fit a balcony into this roof line. Like, I know people keep saying add balcony, but I'm not sure if I can fit a balcony into this roof line. We can definitely fit a uh, patio in the back and like the fake balconies and stuff, but I'm not sure if we can fit a real balcony with this one. No bathroom, not balcony. Oh, you want me to add a bathroom? I think I missed something. <laughs> I don't get it. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that one. Uh, no, can't steal that. Gotta put it back. Not super sure about the color of that, but we'll see, I guess. We shall see. Miss Red bathroom is balcony, that's all. Oh, yes, I see. That's because people have been telling me to add a balcony all day. <laughs> uh, it's not the first time I've seen it, so I just assumed. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Don't know about the side over here. The house is shaped like a cake now. Yes, much like all of my builds always are. <laughs> it's it's uh, shaped like a, a big cake. It's like a wedding cake or something. It's huge. <sighs> okay. I suppose we could... Like, I mean, we could do the balcony thing that people so desire if we wanted. But glass room? Oh, like a sunroom sort of vibe on the side over here? We can maybe do something like that. Make it smaller, perhaps. Oops, ruined. I think that we can make this work. And then we could get like, well, annoyingly, I would very much, very much like to have a door, <laughs> a door to the uh, backyard. And I don't know how I can pull that off, but we'll see. I just want to have a door because I would like to have this be like enclosed. I don't know. Well, should this be purple then? Fake pergola? That's a fun idea. We'll have to see. Uh, Dummy Genevieve, have no life, a decade, and to bits and turn. Thank you for the subs. Always raise the terrain so I can have a door without stairs. That's true. We could do some terrain manipulation. That's not a bad idea. We'll have to see. 
Terrain manipulation makes landscaping really difficult though, because it starts floating, so we'll have to figure that out. I saw Harry in the build that she did for Cottage Living. Um, she did like this sort of thing to make a sunroom with the windows and the columns, and I thought that was like so beautiful. I was obsessed when I saw it. I think I might try and do something like that too, because I really, really, really like that. And then we could put like the, you know, just the trim around the top. But that's kind of a fun touch. I don't know, I like it. We do have some funky doors, but the door that we use up here needs to have a window. Otherwise, everything's gonna be sad. <laughs> Could always do the cats and dogs one, but we need to have a window up here. Oh, that's gonna make it really annoying to place the staircase though. Cause I feel as though, oh, I feel as though I wanted to have the staircase like this and then have a bedroom here. So looking back on this, I'm thinking balcony was a poor choice. <laughs> So that's kind of my bad. <laughs> but this is what I what I wanted the stairs to look like. It can be a fake balcony. And that's fine. Fake balconies are good too. Or I guess it could be like a skylight or something. We'll have to see. But that's what I thought it was going to be like. Because then we could have the door into the bedroom and it would be so cute. And you know. I'm not sure which door, but we'll see. We shall see. What about a glass roof as it's not in use? Ooh. <laughs> I really am unsure about glass roofs. We'll have to see about that. This is gonna make this really annoying to get into as well. But that's okay. I guess we could make it wider again if I wanted to. Um, so, here's the thing. Here's the thing about the way I feel about glass roofs is that I find them extremely difficult to, to make look the way that I want them to. I'd almost rather it be flat, the roof. But we can think about it. Ladder instead of stairs? Oh, to the upstairs? I, I much prefer like the functionality of having staircases because then like pets can use them, you know, like uh, the staircase I feel like is just a little bit more functional than a ladder. Ladder is great for, for small spaces, don't get me wrong, but I feel like for the functionality of it all, I think that having a, a staircase is a bit more useful. I preferred this before. I didn't like it when it was big. <laughs> oh, on the outside to the balcony. Oh, like a ladder to the to the balcony. That's always an idea, I guess. But I don't know if I Oh, it's on a platform or on a foundation anyway, but maybe like a trellis ladder. I don't know. We can think about it. I'm not super sure if I even want it to be a balcony or not. We'll have to see because there is like a nice ladder from high school years. That's true. No, you can't use ladders with toddlers. No, 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 <laughs> not even holding them. Absolutely not yet. Ladders don't work with toddlers. Maybe we could do like the, oh God. It would be a really small glass roof, so maybe it's not useful. Maybe it could be flat and there could be a glass roof on the inside. I don't know. Oh, it's too big anyway. Too big. Um, get as low as you can. No, platform has to be taller. 
That's not what I wanted. See, there could be a... Is that... Can you see the inside from there? Or is it just plain? Wait. Wait. There we go. I don't know if that's ugly or not. Do the fancy glass? Hmm. I don't know if I... If I love the fancy glass or not. We can try it. It is cool. And me, Sarah, Ginger, Vocab, and Clow, and Cyborg, and Dummy, thank you for the subs. I don't know. I love how it looks from the outside. <laughs> and maybe that's all that matters. <laughs> if we like how it looks, then... All is well then, right? Uh, terrible. That's blue. It could be like that. That's not so bad. Right? You vote fake balcony? Oh, do you not like this? Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was kind of liking it. I think it's kind of cool. No, it's not for not so berry. It's just for fun. It's just for fun. We, we weren't uh, making this for anything in particular. Just for... We wanted to build a purple house, so we did. It looks nice. I wish that this was shorter. Then the glass roof thing doesn't work. There's like the island living one. You're just thinking plants? Like plants on the roof? I never do plants on the roof. I'm not sure if I <laughs> if I like how my, my past attempts at doing plants on the roof, I don't think turned out that well. So that wasn't even a thought that crossed my mind. Everybody's always like rooftop garden and I'm always like, oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I can't do it this way. I could do it like this, but Does not work, besties. Does not work. What if it was just flat? <laughs> it's because they were overlapping. That's why it did that. <sighs> Don't think about it. It's fine. Just ignore it. <laughs> Don't let it get to you. Everything's fine. If you click it, the shadow resets. What on that? Even if um, it's overlapping when they're sized down. Hmm. Is it gonna like keep doing that to itself though? How do you get in the sunroom? I haven't put any doors anywhere yet, Millie. I mean, we could maybe do it. It's a little bit more modern than I wanted it. Usually behaves. Okay, we can leave it. We can leave it. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna try and duplicate a lot of the front on the back. What if they just walk through the walls? That's an idea. <laughs> no, we haven't done the floor plan yet. We'll put a door into there or something. It'll be fine. Okay. Raise up a tiny bit. Is that clipping? Don't do that. I believe Yeah, that's fixed. Okay. Okay, ghost residence, no doors needed. That's an idea. Just ghosts live here, so they don't need doors. Problem solved. Oh, that has to be vertical. Cool. <laughs> Round stuff is so weird in this game. It's like actually unbearable to, to use. Okay, I'll use the same door in the back because it's so cute. Okay. Curved walls don't exist to me. Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> I don't even I don't even want to hear the word curved walls. <sighs> I ick. Scary. <laughs> Mickey, go see prank. Thank you for the subs. Oh. No, they never happen as far as I'm concerned. La 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 la. <laughs> no. 
Yuck. I want to like them, I really do, but... I also want to be happy. So... Alright. <laughs> Yeah, they put so much time and effort into them, and like, there's so much potential with them. Like, the idea of curved walls is honestly, like, really cool. But in practice, the problem is that in practice, they're... They're, you know, you know how they are. <laughs> Which makes it very difficult to use them. Yeah, I wish that we had curved walls and pools. If we could do curved pools, that would be so cool. There's still a lot of potential there, but the curved walls are so buggy that it makes it hard to use them. And then, you know, makes us hate them. Okay, don't like that. I'll probably have to do something to make it have a door frame around it. Maybe they'll update it with the infinite update. The curved walls? I don't think they're gonna go back to them, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> I would be extremely surprised if they went back and updated the curved walls. I'm open to being surprised, but I would be extremely surprised if they went back and changed them. They might do some bug fixing, but like, it needs a lot, so. I don't know. I don't know. Missing a column on the sunroof. Uh, you mean this part? And it's in the inside. Okay. Yeah, the curved walls, I they... You know. <laughs> They've caused me a lot of pain. I'm not sure about that. Very unsure about that. We'll have to see. We will have to see. I'm not sure. Uh, let me get some little windows. When do I think the infant update will come out? I don't know. Um, I have talked on stream before about how I highly doubt, highly doubt that it'll come out in January. Um, specifically because they're probably back in the office today because yesterday was a holiday, because uh, January 1st was on a Sunday, so they usually observe New Year's Day on January 2nd, so they wouldn't have had work yesterday. Um, so there wouldn't be like an announcement this week, you know, because they just got back. Next week seems a little early. You know, like, I, in my opinion, um, with like the holiday, I assume it'll be more like February, March, kind of timing and probably not in January. Happy to be surprised, but I, I don't expect the infant update for probably a couple months. And I also expect they'll probably give us some more news on it before they drop it. So, and I don't think, I think we'll maybe get news towards the end of this month or something. At least that's what I would do if I were in charge. <laughs> um, but I don't think it'll happen just, just yet. Okay, let's get into some debug stuff, shall we? JC and KitKat and Charlotte and Amaris, thank you for the subs. Uh... Did I press that correctly? I'm typing the same cheat like twice. I spelled that one wrong. Let's get into debug and we'll find out. Yay, debug. Live edit? Yes, live edit. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, love giant trees. Really need giant trees. <laughs> giant trees are um, necessary to fix this problem. Okay. Uh, maybe if we had... See, that might be like a little bit too purple for my liking, but we'll see. We shall see. Can we add a bunny? Maybe. Maybe. Um, do I wanna do a little fence? Maybe. So I want it to be stone walls instead. Also, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, I know, Christine. Project Renesme is, is, in my opinion, the official replacement. I don't even know what Project Renee is. 
It's Project Renesme. <laughs> Carol likes Lila Demars. Thank you for the subs. Oh. Okay. Let me see if we can find like a cool. Hang on. Oops. Oops. I didn't mean to click. Okay. Well. That's like a different sort of vibe of stone. Oh, Hope, I'm sorry. That was rude of me. I should have, you're right. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I saw you in public, would you mind people coming up to you or would you rather us not? Oh no, absolutely come up to me. If you see me in public, absolutely come up to me. I totally do not mind. Um, I am, uh, I get it a, a fair amount, not like a lot, <laughs> but you know, people do come up to me in public. So uh, don't worry about about me. Like I, I, I'm totally okay if you if you see me, you are welcome to come up to me and say hello. Um, in fact, I would love for you to. That's so cool. But yeah, don't worry about me. I'm, I am okay with that. Um, that is a little bit on the like tighter side. Also, do you guys like that even? Like, oh, it's gonna delete my tree. Oh, it didn't. Never mind. We're fine. Sorry. Everything's fine. Vibe is wrong. I like it. Okay, I'm getting really mixed signals right now. Really, really mixed signals right now. <laughs> You think this fence seems more modern than cottagey? Really? Oh, I didn't get that vibe from it at all. You think it's too strong for the style? I think it looks just like this. Huh. Well, let me, let me think about it. Let's see if we can add some stuff to it and maybe people will like it better once it's decorated more. We'll see. Um, I do like the idea of like a picket fence, I guess. Is that what you want instead? Oh, please save. You're right, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Queen of Hearts, and I am a Jasmine Carol Lex. Thank you for the subs. I haven't saved a single time. Good call. With bushes, it looks a little bit more townhousey. Oh dear. That's not the vibe. Well, we could do something like this. No, it's not for not so very. It's it's just for fun. We don't have any Sims in mind to live here. We're it just it does happen to be purple, but it's it's not meant to be like for anyone in particular or anything like that. It's it's just a cottage. Look better before, that fence looks cute. See, I'm getting complete opposite. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Everyone's telling me different things. Someone says look better before, person above them says it looks better now. <sighs> no, I don't want a pole, Bruin. No, <laughs> no. Let me decide for myself. I need to, I need to decide for myself. We can't, we can't be doing a poll because then I'll change my mind and then chat's gonna like change it again. It's not safe. <laughs> I'm gonna let it sit for a second. We can always change it. It isn't like we're stuck with it. So we'll let it sit there for a second and then we will go from there. Okay, so this purple is a little bit brighter of a purple than the walls are, but that's maybe okay. And then we can try and get like some lavender bushes in here and stuff. Like we'll just use a lot of the, the purple that we have. Mix and match, you know? That one's pretty. I'm not entirely sure what it should look like. So I'm just kind of winging it. We'll get some of these placed around. Do I like that? I'm not sure. We shall see. I guess, you know what else we could do? That's maybe a different vibe, but also really pretty. 
It's like this one makes it look a little bit more like wild flowery. I don't know. I don't know. So we have to see. Think I missed your sub? Charlie, I thought I was caught up. I'm really sorry if I did miss your sub. Either way, if, if so, thank you so much. Um, I know I've missed a lot of things because I've been very overwhelmed. I can go back and try and read some more. Chloe, Strick, Hack Software, Mickey, Go See, Break, Rally, Hitch, Emmy, Koala Bear, Devious, Laura, Randalina, Dobri, Gloomy, Envy, Sarah, Ginger. Thank you all so much. I'm so sorry if I missed anything. I'm really, really not trying to. <laughs> yes to the wildflowers. Okay. So that's a different vibe. And I'm not sure... They're under flowers, I think. Okay. Because, like, if I do this, I feel like I probably shouldn't do those. And I should maybe try and get some more, like, bushes? You know, like, mix and match this sort of thing? Because that is really beautiful, but... Um, I don't know. Yeah, there's been a lot of subs today because I haven't streamed in a couple weeks. That Well, I streamed a few times, but I haven't streamed every day like normal. And so people have like resubs that happened last week that they couldn't share last week. So they're sharing it today. Does that make sense? So there's always a lot more than usual on days when I've like been gone for a while. <laughs> um, so bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. Um, okay. I'm really not trying to miss anything. Oh my God, that is so pretty. I actually love that. We have to try and fit those in. Um, okay, that's a good start. That's a good start. Those aren't debug, no, those are base game. They used to only have one swatch, but then they went back and added more swatches when they did an update, so. We have gotten some more swatches recently. Okay, I'm gonna look at the debug stuff from Cottage Living because I want to add in some of the Cottage Living flowers and also the mushrooms and stuff. So, cause like that's pretty in purple and it's pastel. I'm gonna give myself a pile of them. Hang on, okay. <laughs> I got a pile of those. Uh, I wanted to put some mushrooms. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, oh my god, Snap looks so cute right now. <laughs> I'm not sure, like, how exactly I want to do this. I'm struggling. No. I don't know if I want to use those or not. I can put these mushrooms here because they kind of fit in right there. And maybe some more mushrooms right here. Okay. And then maybe we can get a few more mushrooms that I can just grab from when I'm doing the other landscaping. Just so that I don't need to keep digging as much. <laughs> Any amount of extras is good. There's another cottage living bush. I think I scrolled past it. There's another one that has some purple on it. I am so angry at them for not giving me all of these bushes just in regular build mode. Brie, Baris, Kylie, Sierra, uh, Gil, and Sydney, and Danielle, and, and Flower, Knight, Navo, thank you for the subs. Oh, I really wish that they had done this differently. I am looking specifically for, you know the bushes that I'm looking for. Why can't I find them? They're towards, they're further away than the rest of the bushes. There's three of them. And they're these. See, there's purple. 
And it's good because it's like big, you know? That's what we need. Oops. Oh. I don't want to have to do that. Let me just give myself a bunch of these. I'm going to need to like lower the foundation again and then put it back, which is annoying. Okay, I got myself a bunch of flowers. <laughs> um, we can go from there then, I suppose. All right, get this, get this, get this. Oh, little dumper, hey, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad that you can make it to the stream today. I'm, I'm so glad that you, uh, you popped in. What lot is this? Uh, this is a 30 by 20 lot from Henford on Bagley. It's a little cottage lot. It used to have a starter home on it. And now it has this on it. Does that help? <laughs> okay, excellent. What do we think about this? Can't tell. Really, really cannot tell. Uh, I guess that could go back. This could come forward. That can go there. It's a lot of purple. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. Yeah, there's a mod that organizes debug. I, and this might seem silly, uh, but I tend to try and do most of my content modless um, for the sake of easy replication by people who are trying to learn. So I am well aware that there is a mod that makes uh, debug organized. It uh, has a lot of really useful things in Better Built By and stuff, but um, I haven't made a video on it, but I, I tend to not use mods most of the time um, for that reason. Obviously I don't have to, like I could, I could use whatever mods I want to, but that's kind of the motivation behind that. So I tend to not use a ton of mods in my content, so. And we suffer because of it sometimes, <laughs> perhaps needlessly, because a thing like that isn't really that big of a deal, but I don't know. I don't know. Why is my bench not showing up in this category? That's so annoying. Like, I think the bench should should be categorized as like outdoor seating. Should I put that bench there? That is cute. Mailbox. Wilson, Pluto, affectionate, and rap and astron, thank you for the subs. Yeah, and for example, like uh, people in chat are saying, um, like console players and stuff can't use any mods. <laughs> uh, and so it's sort of out of a, I don't know, that's kind of the reason I guess I should say. Um, maybe I will use this mailbox still. It's all right. It's, it's fine. That's lower than the other windows are. Do I care? I think I do. Yeah, I'll put it on the gallery domesticated. I put all my bills in the gallery, so this one uh, will be no different. This one will definitely be on the gallery once I'm done. I want some more trees, I think. Uh, iteration, Wilson, thank you for the subs. Okay, let me look at the cottage living trees again. Because if we got like a little one, I think that might actually be okay. I don't know if I want a floral tree or not. I do love that though. That is really cute, isn't it? Hmm. I think I like it. I think I like it. We'll see a Christmas tree on purpose. No, no. I just end up building houses that look like cakes. A lot of times my shapes end up turning out like that. But I guess, because <laughs> of this part, it does look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh no. I am so predictable. Okay. Um, well, that's a, that's a Christmas tree build if I've ever seen one. 
That wasn't intentional, no. <laughs> it really does look like that, though, you're right. <laughs> put your tree away today? Yeah, I was thinking I might put my Christmas decorations away tomorrow after I get off stream, because I uh, usually stream in the mornings on Wednesdays, so I'll probably have some more time to dedicate to it. Um, so I think I'll put mine away tomorrow, which is sad, but if I don't do it tomorrow, I don't know when I'll do it. <laughs> is this cottage living only? Um, no. This store is not cottage living. This is from Nifty Knitting. Um, we'll probably end up using some more packs than that even. I just haven't done it yet, so I'm not sure what they'll be. But it won't be cottage living only. Do I ever stream Dreamlight Valley? Yeah, we play it a lot, actually. Dreamlight Valley is one of my favorite games right now. I've really, really been enjoying it. Uh, so we've been playing it a, a fair amount on stream. If you are interested at all in hanging out and watching. <laughs> it's really fun, so. Okay. I don't have any plans to stream Dreamlight Valley this week, though. I should say that. I'm playing a lot of Sims on stream this week. Um, but I haven't playing a lot of Dreamlight Valley, so. Can you play Dreamlight Valley on console? Yeah! Uh, Dreamlight Valley is on a lot of platforms, which is kind of nice. So if you're interested in playing it, it is probably available. Okay. I would like to get a really nice, oh, no. I want a really nice pathway. Can you move? How many of these did I get? Oh my goodness. It's not on mobile, no. Dreamlight Valley is not on mobile. But it is on uh, console and, and PC and Mac and stuff, so. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do about the end of that. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. I don't know. Maybe I'll just wrap this all the way around. What is an ooblet? <laughs> Ooblets is another uh, kind of cozy game. The kind of thing that a lot of people who enjoy games like The Sims and Dreamlight Valley might like. I've streamed Ooblets before, although I must admit I haven't played it since it was in early access, so I haven't played it in a while. I should probably pick it up again and give it another shot. Because I really liked that game. It's a little bit like Pokemon mixed with Stardew. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it, Christine. The flooring on the rounded part is weird. Oh, it disappeared again. Very annoying. Do I still play Stardew Valley? I haven't streamed it in a while, but Stardew Valley is, is going to be forever one of my most favorite games of literally all time. <laughs> of literally all time. I really, really enjoy Stardew Valley, so. Um, it's a really fun game. Okay. Get some more terrain paint down here. Cool. Maybe I could do a bit of landscaping out this way. Uh, I think I might size that down. I don't know. I don't know. I've never played the Stardew Valley Expanded mod, no. I've not really ventured out into the world of Stardew Valley mods. I kind of, in the realm of what we've been talking about, but I don't really, I guess I just don't really use a lot of mods for the games that I play in general. Um, obviously with The Sims even, I don't really use that many mods. I do have some mods, <laughs> uh, but I don't really use a ton of mods just in general with the games that I play. So I've never used Stardew Valley Expanded mod. It's a really cool one though. I've heard so many good things about it, but I've never personally played with it. Uh... How do I want to do this? Maybe I will have this. Continue around. I realize this is a very different vibe from what I had done before. So <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I'm working on it. Do I think I'd ever stream Minecraft? I've, I've streamed Minecraft a fair amount, Key. Um, I, I've definitely streamed Minecraft before. I don't think it'll be one of my like 
I'm gonna describe it as a bread and butter game, like The Sims that I always play. Because I do love Minecraft. I find Minecraft very fun. It is also one of my like all-time favorite games. But oh my god, the times that I've streamed Minecraft, the trolls in the Minecraft category are wild. So much more than when I play Sims. And they're kind of bullies. It's not like a- uh, it's not like it's uh, any fault of like Minecraft or the Minecraft community because those people aren't even really part of the Minecraft community. But like in every category on Twitch, the vibes are just kind of different. Like when I play Fall Guys, we get way more trolls than normal just because the there's more people browsing the category, but like, um, the Minecraft category is- is scary sometimes. <laughs> people are different over there. Um, uh, which is- I don't know. It's kind of funny, but... Yeah, I- uh... I don't know. Does that make sense, though? Not the kind of thing I'd want to stream always, I guess. Probably because they're children. I- the ones that are- are mean are definitely kids, yeah. Um... But I love Minecraft. <laughs> One of my favorite games. <laughs> I really, really enjoy Minecraft, but it is funny how, um, how different categories can be sometimes. Do I like City Skylines? I love City Skylines! I would never stream it again, though. Maybe at some point, someday. But City Skylines is another one that I, um, when I streamed it, I did not have fun <laughs> because people were mean to me. It's not like City Skylines fault either, or like the City Skylines community's fault. It's just the kind of game that, um, it has a lot of backseating, like, and by that I mean people being like, no, do this instead. Or more like, no, you're stupid and you should have done it this way, stupid. Um, because in City Skylines it's a city builder and you're like managing traffic and stuff. So, <laughs> it, it seems to inspire some some levels of of rage i guess from people <laughs> people are really funny about that one um so that that's the sort of game that i think i have more fun playing on my own because <laughs> because they um and not just like the community it's just like how it goes like any like any people who play that game like you know when you build in the sims there's more backseating than when you uh play the game like regularly you know but anyway, it's fine. I can put up with it. Like I've, you know, been there, done that. But, but sometimes uh, games are more fun when you keep them to yourself. <laughs> Should I do it like this? Is this cute? Get this scooted over a little bit more. I like the idea of some little, did that one window go really weird? Yeah, it did. Uh, when you have move objects on, sometimes they, uh, hide into the walls. Do I play Planet Zoo? Yeah, I used to play a lot of Planet Zoo. I haven't played it in a while, though. But I used to play Planet Zoo a ton uh, a couple years ago when it first came out. I like that game. I like that sort of management type of game. I did find Planet Zoo kind of overwhelming in the sense that, like, you can do so much with the build mode that, uh, it was- it was almost, like, a little bit hard for me. <laughs> Because, like, the options, there were so many options, you know? But, it is a fun game. It's just, I was, like, a little overwhelmed by the <laughs> amount of options to build. Yeah, it's like the running of the zoo is more fun than the decorating of the zoo for me, which is a little bit surprising considering how much I like to build in games. But, there's a lot that <laughs> you can do, so... Uh, I'm gonna... Decorations... Look at the base game stuff. Get some little gardening things. Ba -ba -ba. Do I have an off-camera family that I play with in Sims just for myself? You know, Sarah, I don't really uh, play The Sims when I'm not recording or streaming anymore. To give you some context, I love The Sims, but I play The Sims a lot. Like, I recorded videos for three, I, like, well, I was recording for more than three hours, but I have three hours of footage from this morning, right? So, you know, I was playing The Sims for a few hours today, <laughs> recording, and now I'm playing The Sims again to stream it. Um, I, and then, if I were to play The Sims, like, off-camera, in my own time, I almost would feel like a, well, 
I might as well record this, <laughs> you know, like, uh, so that, that's kind of how it's, how it's been for the past few years where like, when I do want to play the Sims, I'm like, oh, I'll just make a video or I'll just stream or whatever. Like, I'll just go live on a Sunday and play extra. Cause I feel like it, um, it, as opposed to like, well, snaps being cute. Um, does that make sense though? Like I, I have that mindset of like, why not do it with you guys instead of alone if I'm going to play. So. <laughs> we play, do play it a lot though. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'd like to get some more little flowers around. I think that's sort of the mindset that a lot of streamers get into though. Not even just with like their main game, but like with any game. Like I kind of have that about all games now where I'm like, oh, well, if I want to play a game, I'm, I may as well just go live. <laughs> you know, like I may as well stream it while I'm playing it. Um, I think that a lot of people who stream sort of get into that mindset, which I don't know. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but you do sort of have that when you stream a lot. I don't really think of it as like a making money thing though, Fuzzy. Like when I, um, obviously I make money when I stream, but I don't really think like, oh, I'm gonna go live so I can earn some money. <laughs> like, I don't really think of it as like, oh, I wanna play a game so I should make money out of it. I think of it as like a, oh, I'd rather just hang out with you guys while I do it. Like it's it's more um, that intention than like a, a money thing, if that makes sense. Um, and, and especially like, I don't know, like for example, the past week or so, uh, while Dan's family was here and I couldn't stream that much, uh, I like wanted to stream because I was like, oh, I feel bad that I'm not hanging out with them. <laughs> you know, like I feel like I owe it to them to be live and I'm not like, so that's more of the incentive as opposed to like, you know, going live to <laughs> get paid. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, and that's lucky, I guess, but um, that's how I sort of feel about it. But anyway, Little and Paula and Ux and Tilde and Leah and Alicia, thank you for the subs again, by the way, everybody. Um, don't know anyone, anyone, anything? I know, I know I don't know anybody, anything, but that's kind of how, um, how you sort of envision it, right? Um, because obviously I know that I'm very lucky to be in this position and have this job and this opportunity, so, um, I do feel like a, I don't know, I, like you owe a little bit of it, you know? You know? Okay. Okay. Um... I'm gonna put a little bit of trim of dirt around this. I think I like that. Cause then I can put like a little table out here. Oh, I want a trash can too. Oh, I like it. Uh, I don't like a trash can, but I like the rest. Sorry, I should clarify that. <laughs> I don't like the trash can, but the rest of it looks okay. We need to get a little table over here. I liked the idea of, I don't know. Something purple, perhaps? Are we furnishing today? Yeah, we will. Spending a while on the exterior, aren't I? <laughs> but we will furnish the inside, too. So... I'm not... obsessed <laughs> with... with the options. But anyway, Archer, thank you for the 32 months, by the way. Ugh. Oh my god, Snap looks- she's like so perfectly seated in front of the cat cam. Do you know what I mean? Like the way she is sat right there, she is like perfectly angled for the camera. I like that little table, that's cute. Oh, you think a picnic table would be cute? I do like the idea of that. I'm sort of struggling with what sort of chair table combo I should get. She is being kind of a star though. Oh, <laughs> so cute. How long will today's stream be? Uh, probably like three hours. Change the chairs. Oh, do you not like them? I liked how they had a little bit of purple on them, but I understand if you don't like them. Maybe wicker stuff? Oh, the wicker whim stuff from laundry day. There is this. That might be kind of cute. 
Do I want to use the big table? That might be kind of nice. It takes up a lot of space. We do have like, um, colors, purple. Oh, she's moving. <laughs> um, this little thing is kind of cute. Should we do that? I think I like the exterior. I think that's good. We can always add on to it more once we figure out the inside. I want to spend some time... I want to spend some time, like, figuring out the floor plan. <laughs> so I thought that this room upstairs would be a bedroom. Because, like, look at how great that is. There's, like, a private hallway straight up to the bedroom. Love that so much. Like, how cute is that? Um, but then... Aside from that, not 100% sure how I want to go about this. So, oh dear. Yeah, Fern, Snap definitely does get the zoomies and stuff. She's very playful. Obviously, when she's hanging out in here, though, like, you see her when she's sleeping on the chair. <laughs> you know, like, you, uh, I can't very easily film her running around downstairs and stuff, so... How do you access the sunroom? I'm gonna put a door into it. It's gonna be awkward, unfortunately. That's just gonna be how it is, but that's fine. No, the tree shape is not intentional, but it does look like a tree. <laughs> it's because I mirrored it on the front and back. Don't judge me, okay? But it wasn't, it wasn't originally meant to be like that, no. How old is Snap? She's 14. Um, she is 14. Okay, that is the front door. This could be like a little office and a little bathroom. The floors are not base game, no. These floors are actually from, uh, the floors are from the cottage living pack. Okay, I sort of like how there's a little hallway over here. Um, <laughs> um, what I don't like at all, like at all, is this part. Really struggling with that situation over there. So, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I like the rest of this though. Entrance from the outside? What, to the sunroom? Yeah, that's possible, I guess. But expand the porch, only access the sunroom from the outside? That's an idea. Make it one wider. We could also make the sunroom wider, yes. That's another idea. Um, I guess sort of concern there is that it's not going to be like even in line with um, the roof, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but kind of bugs me a little bit. But I guess you probably wouldn't know. Hmm. That would make it better from the inside on the other side too. No, I, I prefer to have it, I want this window like that. We had it bigger before and we didn't like it. We intentionally made it smaller because I didn't like how it looked when it was this wide. I didn't like how long and skinny it was. It really bugged me. It being like this is not terrible. Honestly, it's not even like that off center, so it's probably fine. This part is no longer fine though. We could just have, like, um, I don't know. We could just, like, not have a door out here. <laughs> that would be fine. 
the patio is still fine. But there's a door over here to the outside, so it's not that big of a deal. We don't need to have two. Ari, Master, Lisa, and Merlin, Rustic, thank you for the subs. Oh, I was gonna answer that question. I don't think I answered it because I got distracted. Somebody asked, how do you delete walls without the sledgehammer? Um, if you hold control and draw the wall again, you can delete it. So you just hold control and then redraw it, and then you can delete it. Super, super useful tip. <laughs> kind of a life-changing tip, actually, if I'm being honest. I might make this a little bit bigger. Okay. I haven't seen your sub, Simslord. I'm really sorry if, if you didn't hear me read it out loud. I thought I was caught up with subs. Thank you, thank you for subscribing. I'm really sorry if I did miss it. Totally, obviously not trying to. Um, I, I really do my best. <laughs> uh, but I'm really sorry if I did miss it and thank you for the resub. Uh, okay. Okay. This is a very odd shape. <laughs> I feel like I am. No, it's not supposed to be shaped like a tree. It just is, it just does. <laughs> I really wish that I hadn't made it symmetrical on the front and back because now I feel like it looks stupid and everyone thinks it's a tree. And it's fine, it isn't that big of a deal, but <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> It's cute. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I feel I'm, like I did a bad job with it, so. Maybe I shouldn't have this come into the house like that. And maybe this could end up being like, hang on. Idea. Purple. Oops. That does not match the floorboards at all. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna get a smaller window. So this is what I am envisioning will become sort of a kitchen. Or maybe not, because it's a bit tight. I love the green, that's so cute. I guess we could get like a, a brighter floor on the inside. And that might help to give it some more color. So that might be a good thing, honestly. We'll see. We shall see. Matches the counters better and it makes it less like bland, you know? Uh, we could do it like this. Idea being Maybe this is the living room. Okay, hold on. There's a lot of hallway in this house. <laughs> and there's a lot of really small rooms, which is maybe not a good thing. But... Mm, maybe it is all open. I don't know. Perhaps this is the living room. This is the kitchen. We have at least one bathroom down here, which is not a huge amount of bathroom, but it will do. Oh God, the tile situation is not good. Okay, well as for the bathroom, just to mark it. We have a bedroom upstairs, bedroom there. I probably need an extra bedroom down here. The dining table could go in the sunroom, yeah, that would be cute. We'll see about it, but that would be nice. Yeah, and I think it usually only having one bathroom would be would be um, very normal. Don't do everything purple. It's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna be completely purple, Linus, but I would like to have a lot of purple accents in this house. That's why I thought it would be cute if we had a pastel purple tile, but obviously we don't, so we won't do that. Um, but we're gonna try and use a lot of purple on purpose because it's kind of fun back porch floor. I kept it out that way on purpose because I like how the white looks better. 
So, but predominantly purple is the vibe. No, it's not for not so very, it's just for fun, Hannah. Um, understandable why you might think that, but <laughs> it's not actually for not so very. We were just doing it because we thought it would be fun to make a purple house because we haven't done a lot of purple builds. Basically the idea being, I'm trying to sort of encourage myself to try to use more things, like more swatches of things that I don't really find myself using all that often. Uh, like for example, this rug. I don't know when I last used this rug. It's beautiful. We should use it. So that's kind of what we're trying to do. I think we can make that work. I think that would be nice. Um... Maybe I could do it. That would give me an extra bathroom. No, I don't like that. This is very large. Um, should I close this off or is that too much hallway? Because I feel like a lot of that is lost to hallway. It is nice to have an extra bathroom though. Even if it doesn't need to. Is it a one bedroom home? No, it's gonna be a couple bedrooms. Uh, in my mind, these two rooms are bedrooms and there's a bedroom upstairs. Hallway isn't bad, okay. Do you know what? Let's do just the one bathroom. So the original idea that I had, and I think I like this better. The original idea that I had had was that if we did something like this, I could have like a slightly closed off um, sort of space by the entrance. Now, of course, I don't know what color because a lot of this is very, very pink. But just think about like this sort of thing because then I could do like column, column, you know pantry or laundry room. Those are fun ideas, but I don't really tend to put laundry in my builds just because I don't tend to play with laundry. I probably should do that more, but I don't do it that often. But see, I like the idea of that. And then there's kind of a nook for us to put like a desk or something. And that might be nice. And then we have a big open living space, which is also nice. I don't know. This sim is lucky. They have a huge, huge bedroom. A platform there in the entrance. The, that sort of thing is always fun, but I feel like the platforms are kind of hard uh, because of the fact that then it would raise up the door and like, you know, it just changes everything, you know? I guess people have been asking for laundry. We could always put like a little laundry closet I don't know if this even functions like this. I don't really want it to be open, so. But that's cute, so. <laughs> Where's the dining room? I think we're gonna put it in this room, back here. I don't know. We also might have a breakfast table in here. Archway? Yeah, I don't like how the archways look though, Alia, which is why I put the door. I don't really want to look at the laundry. <laughs> if it were up to me, I would just not have it. So, <laughs> I personally, I would prefer for it to not be there at all. <laughs> so you're lucky that I placed it there in the first place. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to use it or not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just a broom closet? Oh, I mean, just a broom closet is kind of cute, actually. That might be kind of a fun idea. And I like how there's a bunch of doors in the hallway. All right, that's doable. Maybe I could put the stone floor in the sunroom as well. It's not really the kind of stone that I want, though. But saying that, I don't know what kind of stone that I want. That's really light. We'll have to see. 
We will have to see. Front door glitched. Yeah, all the doors are gonna keep glitching themselves. It's okay. Desk in front of the window, like in here. Yeah, we're gonna make it into like an office nook. That was the idea, I think. Um, all of the floor is very bright. I like the idea of closing that off a little. With something. Oops, dropped my phone, sorry. Um, uh, how do we want to go about this? I don't know. Let's just furnish the kitchen. <laughs> Let's just decorate the kitchen, shall we? I'm gonna scoop this over because I want the cute sink. Can look at the kits. Yeah, some of the nifty knitting furniture would work in this house. That's kind of a fun idea. But look, see the little sink? It's got like such a cute green accent. Okay, maybe in hindsight, maybe I should have switched it to put it there. Huh. Not sure about this. Yeah, Sims walk over the little fence, Telza. They walk over both the tiniest fences in the game. They even walk over this one. Promise. <laughs> um, okay. Let's think. Kits. Kits. Belgio, Brandy, Yuka, and Kenna, and Emily, and Marissa, thank you for the subs. Okay. Let's see. Well, maybe I'll look in the kitchen section because I want... There is like cute green, but I don't know if I like how the green looks with the purple. So I might do this in white. I don't know. We shall see. We also have a cute stove, which is fun. Not sure where to put that either. Kind of struggling there. But we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Maybe I could like do this like that. I guess I could always have like, the stove could be over here. I don't know. What about purple and yellow? What for the color scheme? Slim? Yeah, maybe. So the reason we were thinking green for this room is because a lot of the cabinets have some green accents on them already. Uh, all right. Let's see. We'll have to figure out what looks best, <laughs> which I am not sure about yet. I don't even know if I want the extra window, to be honest. Oh, that's so nice. I really like that. Dishes. I don't know. Like, isn't that so cute? I really like it. I kind of want to switch it though. Problem is, this is like meant for the other side. So it doesn't really, it's an end piece is what I mean. Oh, and it's wider. Oh, weird. Look, do you see that? I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but it looks nice above the sink though. Right? Is it better if the cabinetry just like ends over there? And we do like the fridge and the stove over here. Cause I like that as an end piece. I don't know. Yeah, why is one of them bigger than the rest? That's so... <sighs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I love it. Haha. <laughs> love it so much. Everything's fine. See, the end pieces, this is like switched from how I want it to be. I don't like it. I want it, I think I want to keep it like that though. Unless, should I try and do like, 
plane on both sides and not corner. Because that looks kind of good, doesn't it? Save game. Okay. Don't forget a trash can. Yeah, I won't. Don't worry. We will get a trash can in here and everything. Are you knitting a purple blanket right now? Oh my gosh, that's kind of funny. We're both doing the same thing. Sort of. <laughs> um, purple, I think, is one of my favorite colors. I really like purple. Annoyingly, we are lacking in the pastel purple department. So, this is where the pain is about to start to come in. We'll have to figure it out. Put something over the fridge? Yeah, we can put some decorations up there. Uh, we will see though. That's like too purple and not in a good way. This might be okay for a bedroom or something. I would like to have, oh, oh no, sorry. I probably just made all of you yawn. <laughs> so sorry. Let's get like a wooden set. Let me look at cottage living. Um, I guess that's not really the green that I'm hoping for or the wood that I am hoping for. I love this color wood, but I don't know about the yellow. So, I wish I had more chairs like that. Fought that yawn so hard. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no, this is a great chair though. Let's do that. And then we can just get like a little wooden table of sorts. Oh, that's not good. Let me look at cats and dogs. Did Simsy make you yawn? 40% said yes. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a large number of people. Uh, that's a little bit tight. Maybe I should just do like a three seater table up against the back wall. The power you hold to make hundreds of people yawn at the same time. It is kind of scary, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, geez. Base game. I want like one of those thingies uh, with the these. <laughs> One of those thingies with the plates is what I want. Oh, that's purple. That's not good. Ooh, I don't think I knew there was a minty swatch of that. We should keep that in mind. Not sure about that one. I'm like, hmm, not so berry might enjoy that. They're all yellow. That's okay. We can have some yellow plates. I think that's pretty. Don't you want a yellow accent with purple? Yeah, yellow is a great color, but there's a lot of like green in here. So I'm trying to keep that in mind, but at least this yellow kind of matches the countertops. Um, I don't think I want it to be like purple, yellow, and green. <laughs> I was trying to sort of keep it a little bit toned down. That's too dark. That's not what I want either. This is cute. That'll do. It's not actually for not so berry. No, we're just doing it for fun. Uh, every time we do like a color themed build, people always think it's not so berry, which is totally understandable, but <laughs> it's actually just for fun. We didn't have any particular reason. Just for fun. Cute table. Oh, table's base game. Table is base game. Luckily. Okay, I was gonna look at this stuff from Cool Kitchen. I think this might be too modern, but, oh yeah, that's way too modern. I love the idea of that sort of thing though. Maybe we could sort of go along that theme with some shelves. 
Is it true I basically created the Not So Berry Challenge? Yeah, tell me more. I, I did create the Not So Berry Challenge. Me and my friend Zoe wrote it a few years ago. It's on my Tumblr if you're ever looking for the rules. Um, so yes. <laughs> we did create it. The rules are there in chat. Um, okay, did I finish the outside? Yeah, for the most part. For the most part, I think. Might need to go back and add some more decor to it, but I don't want to think about it right now. <laughs> I need to be done with the outside for a second for my own <laughs> brain. Um, let's see. How about Jerry? Maybe a small Jerry. Why is he called Jerry? I don't know. Ask Dr. Gluon. Don't ask me. Uh, I would like to have... Some decorations. No, but it's not for Not So Berry. If I was doing a Not So Berry build right now, chat, I would put it in the title and stuff to make it very easy to follow. <laughs> uh, it's just for fun this time around. So. Okay. No, 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 no. Raise up. Okay. I will probably try and alt place this a little bit better. Is there no Y command? Did I not do one yet? Still? Oh no, there is one. Okay. I was gonna say. <laughs> oh my goodness. If so, oops. But no, we did, we did get one. Well, better yet, the mods did it. Not me. I didn't do one before I went live on purpose because I didn't know what I was gonna build. So I thought, eh, I'll figure that out later. And then I forgot. So. Shout out mods, because that was them, not me. <laughs> Alright, I think I would like to get... I said think really weird just then. I think I would like to get some cookbooks. I did so much baking over the past couple weeks. I, I took a bit of a break, obviously, while Dan's family was in town. Because uh, I couldn't really stream or record much while they were here. Um, Cause one, I didn't want Dan to have to edit while his parents were here. But two, I was uh, the only person in the house who could drive. <laughs> so I was uh, the designated person who had to car everybody around. It's like, oh, you want to go to Target? All right, let's go hop in the car. I'll drive you. <laughs> so I wasn't really able to stream much cause I was busy. Uh, but the t when we were home, I did a, a lot of baking. I baked obviously a few pies for Christmas. I baked two cakes. Um, on, on New Year's Day, I baked a, like, pineapple upside down cake and a chocolate cake, which was really good. Um, but yeah, I've been doing a lot of baking recently. So that's been fun for me. <laughs> oh, we took them to Target, don't worry, Christine. Um, we, we did indeed go to Target. We tried to go to all kinds of, um, classics, you know? <laughs> um, so that was fun. Uh, love the idea of a coffee mug. Not sure if it fits there though. I'm not sure how much is too much to put on the shelf. Oh, Moon Pearl, I said obviously because I, I baked the pies on stream. So I didn't mean to be like, obviously I made pies, but like many of you were there when I made the pies, which is why I said it like that. <laughs> I made the pies on stream. So a lot of people, a lot of people that were here saw. Um, yeah, it was their first time ever coming to Florida, Floxy. They had never been. They hadn't, our parents hadn't even met in person. They've obviously talked online, but um, with like COVID and everything the past few years, our, our parents had never even met in person before. So um, it was quite cool to, to get a chance to spend the holidays with them and stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, it was their first time ever coming to the US. So actually Dan's sister-in-law had been on a trip to the US when she was a kid. <laughs> she came, like her grandparents uh, took their family to Florida when she was like seven or something, I think. Well, that was eight, you know, that was like 20 years ago. So ages ago. So it had been a while since she was here, but Dan's family had never been to the US before. So, um, you know, I think actually my cat did all right with the fireworks on New Year's. She wasn't as scared as I was worried she would be. She's been scared in past years on like the 4th of July and stuff when there's fireworks going on, but she wasn't that bad this year, which was a huge relief. I will say my parents' dogs 
had a really hard time. Specifically, Mako, our oldest dog, he's always been a little bit like scared of fireworks, but this year, the poor little guy has been so scared. He's not that little, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Apparently, um, he, my parents take them for walks every night. Like they each take a turn to go at the dogs. One, two, three, each have their own walk every night. He wouldn't go out on the on on uh, New Year's Eve, obviously, because of the fireworks. And then the next day, he wouldn't. He didn't want to go outside either. He was like refusing to go on his walk. And then he heard a plane when he did come out. And then he heard a plane and he ran back inside. That makes me feel so bad because he loves his walks. He gets so excited. It's like his favorite thing. He loves to go on his walks. But then he got so scared of the plane and he went back inside. It makes me feel so bad. I hate fireworks. And they were going on, it's been uh, going on for like three days. It was like the day before New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day, everybody was doing fireworks. So much noise all the time. But anyway, I was, I felt very, very sad for him. I was really, really sad about um, how he was scared of the fireworks and stuff. So, anyway, poor little guy. I hope he'll do better tonight. I'll have to ask how he, how he does. I know last night he, um, he didn't want to go because of the plane and stuff, so. Um, but, anyway. I don't know, Christine, because this is sort of a new problem. He's never been this scared of fireworks before. They've always been a little bit, like, nervous when there's fireworks happening, but Mako has never been, like, afraid to go on his walk the next day kind of scared. So that's kind of new. <laughs> um, that's kind of a new one. He's 10. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully he'll be okay. I'll ask how he does with his walk tonight. I'll text Shanna now so I don't forget. Um, let me know how Mako is on his walk. <laughs> Yeah, snaps face planning. Yeah, I think it might be partially because he's getting older. I don't know. Um, like, maybe his ears are more sensitive or something. Yeah, I'm not sure, but... Um, yeah, Alina, it's different in different states. So you can't, like, regular people can't do fireworks everywhere in the states, but they can do them here, <laughs> so... Uh, we do... Oh my goodness, is that, like, too purple? Maybe maybe where the counters are from these counters are from the um country kitchen kit maybe but you like it do you i kind of like it too but yeah the, uh, they can do fireworks in florida so unfortunately never too much purple okay <laughs> um Ohio law used to be that you could buy fireworks as long as you promised to take them out of the state to launch them. Now it's a free for all. Yeah, I don't really know much about how fireworks work, if I'm being honest around here, because it's, it, look, I'm not launching fireworks. We're not doing that. <laughs> so I don't specifically know what the, um, the laws surrounding fireworks around here are. I've never looked into it because I'm not going to buy any, am I? Um, but I, I do know that I think that they can buy them and launch them whenever here. Or maybe not whenever, but like on holidays or something. Whereas like, yeah, California has them banned because of fires and stuff. Um, so it's different in different states, which is kind of confusing if you're not from the US. You're probably like, what the heck? But that's, that's very typical of, of everything here. <laughs> different in different states. So yeah, I like the idea of rug under the sink too, but I wasn't sure which one. Fireworks are illegal in New York City. Do people, do people buy them out of state and bring them back and launch them? What happens if you launch fireworks and it's illegal? What do they do to you? I assume that, like, chances are probably nothing, right? Is that ugly or cute? In New York, they're illegal. Yeah, nothing happens. Yeah, you get fined. Oh... Uh, Find and ticketed. Hmm. Huge fine in Maryland. That's good. I guess it depends where you are. <laughs> um, what happens, but yeah, I don't know anything about fireworks. So fireworks scare me. The the like risk beyond like, you know, the like noise concerns and scaring animals and people and stuff. Uh beyond that, like the physical risk of like 
people launching fireworks in their front yards stresses me out so much. Like the thought of like people just lighting things up on fire is like, that's not, doesn't seem safe. Like people are gonna hurt themselves. Don't like that. <laughs> Don't like that. So, um, that part stresses me out too. And they, people do get hurt all the time from it. So. Um, yeah, not just fire, it's explosives, right? Like it's dangerous, <laughs> so. And then obviously the chance of it catching things on fire as well. Scary, scary, scary. I don't like fireworks. Just doesn't seem worth it to me. <laughs> um, I'll probably use that again. Let me see. I know I'm I'm being like so slow. I'm sorry. I don't know what I want. I'm gonna actually load out and come back because I want to get debug gone, and it's fast this way. Yuck! 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 Come along. Hurry up. <laughs> leave Disney. Yeah, leave the fireworks to Disney, right? Disney spends so much money on fireworks every day. I forget the number. This is something I'm gonna bring up because I don't remember the exact number. But I saw a statistic one time about how much money Disney spends on their fireworks shows each night. And it was a wild number. Like so much money, obviously, as you can imagine how much money they spend on fireworks. But it was like a ridiculous amount. Too much. Their fireworks are, are a nice show. It's like they do a good job, but... <laughs> They spend a lot of money on it. And it's obviously very bad for the environment as well. In front of my headphones. Oh, these are Logitech. These are part of the Aurora collection. They're really nice. 12 million a year. Oh. oh my God. I find that like so hard to fathom. Obviously they make so much money, but like, is her cat okay? Yeah, she's just putting her face in the pillow. She does it periodically. Um, she'll come back and take her face out of the pillow soon. Just watch. Magic Kingdom is $25,000 per night on fireworks. Oh, see, she is moving, just like I said. <laughs> That's wild. I mean, the tickets are like $150 a day for people though, so they've got the money. They've got the money. Okay. And that's just Magic Kingdom though. Scary. All right. I don't think I want to do a tub because it's really small in here. Uh... Yeah, not including merchant food. I know. Think about how much money Disney made. It's honestly horrifying how much money Disney makes and how much like everything costs in the theme parks. No, Animal Kingdom doesn't have fireworks because of the animals, Christine. So they don't have fireworks in Animal Kingdom. Um, they do like a, in Animal Kingdom, I'm pretty sure they do like a light show on the, you know how they have that big tree in Animal Kingdom? They do like a light show on it. Um, at least they have been since the 50th anniversary, but they don't do fireworks in Animal Kingdom because it's a zoo. So, and like a light show on the lake or something, right? I'm not really sure. I don't, um, I'm not, I don't go to Animal Kingdom much, so. I don't know. Never been to Animal Kingdom after dinner time? Yeah, a lot of people leave Animal Kingdom early. Um, okay, that seems nice. Yeah, some places have started doing drone shows and light shows instead of fireworks uh, recently, which is kind of cool. They look really cool as well. Um, honestly, at uh, at Magic Kingdom, that's the Disney park with the castle that I assume many of you are familiar with when you think of Disney. Um, at Magic Kingdom, they have, during the fireworks show, they do a bunch of like projections on the castle. And I feel like that is way more fun to watch than the fireworks. Like the projections and how they light the castle up, I just think is so impressive. It's really, really cool. Look up some pictures of it if you haven't seen it. But like, I think the, the castle projections are way better than the fireworks. Um, I think it's, they're like so fun. <laughs> so you miss Not So Berry, when am I gonna play them again? We're gonna play them on Thursday, just a couple days from now. Um, 
so don't worry. <laughs> Soon. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy that part of it, so. Um. Oh, really, Carter? Hey, thanks for coming by the stream. It's nice to see you. I'm glad that you can make it. I would like to get something pretty. I don't know what. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not really one to stay for the shows at uh, places like Disney because I get really, really anxious in the crowds. <laughs> but I, I just watched them when Dan's family was here. Um, because they want, obviously they came all this way and they wanted to see the fireworks show. And I can be brave, I can do it. But I don't usually, I'm not one to stay for that sort of thing. <laughs> I get really nervous, especially like leaving the park and like everyone, how they all are pushing at the same time. It really is too much for me, so. Um. Ah. <laughs> oh no, Jill, Randy, and basically, and Katya, thank you for the subs. Um, and Ray, and John, and Ari, and Sapphire, and Patty, and Supper, and Cece, and Kelsey, and Cozy, thank you all so much. But I'm sure, I'm sure all of you can picture um, what I'm talking about. It's probably the same thing anywhere you go, right? Any place that's got like a fireworks show is gonna be like that. Um, it's just overwhelming, so. Okay. Do you think I should do the columns again on the inside or no? Um, I do think I like how that looks. It's kind of like fancy, right? I don't know. When am I gonna build Baby's house for my YouTube series? Probably in a couple weeks. I wanna wait until she gets a little bit older before I build it. Um, so I won't do it just yet. We'll give her a little bit more time to, to, <laughs> to grow. <laughs> That's a weird way of describing it. We're gonna give Baby a little bit more time to grow before I build her house. No, my sim, I want her to um, be a young adult when I build it, so. Probably a couple more episodes from now. <laughs> give my sim some more time to grow. <laughs> Um, that's purple and it's big, but it's not really like the vibes that I'm going for. <laughs> like a plant or something. Yeah, make sure you water your Sam so they can grow. <laughs> Jill Otto Skelly, thank you for the subs. Oh. oh, this is cute. I actually kind of like those candles. Um, okay. Okay. Perhaps if we had a more simple chair. Um, has Blue's Gen gone on longer than usual? I don't think so necessarily, but they did update lifespans. Um, so Blue was like a teen longer than our other teens have been teens in the past because they changed how the lifespans work. Does that make any sense? Um, so Blue did have more time than the other Sims did um, because they got some extra lifespan time. <laughs> but now the same thing will be for any of the future Sims. They'll have the same amount of time, so. Okay, what did they do to the lifespans? They made them longer, Steph. Uh, in preparation for the the infant update, I assume, a while ago, they went back and they added time to the lifespans in The Sims. So like your Sims are teens longer by like a few days and stuff. Um, so that uh, when the infant update comes, they haven't said this, but I assume it's the when the um, infant update comes, um, they'll be more, uh, space. Yeah, I won't add like a ton of extra um, time episode wise, but yeah, that led to the aging bug. Yes. <laughs> when they did that, it caused the aging bug, which is funny to look back on now because when that was happening, we were all like, why are you guys adding on to the like lifespans? That makes no sense. And look what you did. You broke the game and now it's aging everybody like ridiculously. It's broken. And now we know, oh, <laughs> it's because they were working on the, the baby update. <laughs> By the time we were all like, how did you manage this? But obviously now that it's been announced and stuff, we're like, oh, right. <laughs> that makes way more sense. <laughs> they haven't given a date for that yet, by the way. 
Um, there's no official uh, timeline. They just said early this year, early 2023. But to me, I'm guessing February, March. I don't think it'll come out in January. Okay, I don't know if I can do much else to this. I think it's kind of nice, though. When are we playing Among Us next? On the uh, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, we're going to play Among Us. Which should be fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that, actually, a lot. But yeah, we made plans to play on Friday the 13th, so. Ooh. <laughs> Among Us, so fun. That's, yeah, that's the plan. Um, SimGuru Nova said we would see them and the next expansion pack sometime in the next 51 weeks. Okay. <laughs> Great. Now that's a lot to go off of. Perfect. Okay, you hear that chat? We can expect the infant update sometime in the next 51 weeks. <laughs> Let the countdown begin. Oh. Anyway, I think um, they probably... Maybe they don't even know when the infant update is going to come out yet because I assume uh, that they, they probably have to do um, some finishing on that one, so who knows. Da, 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 purple. They did say early 2023, though, so for the update at least. Um... I don't really feel as though these chairs are purple enough for me. I don't know. Cats and dogs. I do like that little flower. That's cute. That should be fine. That should be fine. Imagine if they pull a toddler's update and do a surprise drop. Do you think they would? I've been I've been spending a lot of time thinking about this. Full transparency, I have absolutely no real insight into their plans for this, okay? Uh, this is this is purely speculation on my part. But I I don't know if they would do a surprise drop of them. And I almost think that they don't feel confident they could do a surprise drop, and that's why they announced them. Like, that's why they, they got ahead of it and teased it. Do you know what I mean? Um, because maybe they're not confident they can surprise us with it either. <laughs> so, because the, things keep leaking so much. And that's why they announced it, just to get ahead of the game. But, I don't know. I don't know. Surprise of what? Of the infant update. They're going to do a baby update. IDK, Simsy, when do you have plans? It'll probably happen then, knowing your luck. <laughs> I don't have any plans in the next few months. So, should I plan something? Maybe they'll drop the update then. <laughs> I don't know. It is funny to think about, but... Should make plans? Alright, I'll, I'll like book a trip or something. <laughs> I'll make sure I'm out of town. <laughs> um, oops. Oops. I think I like that. Let me get a coat rack. You found out about toddlers from my video building a toddler room? Really? I remember the toddler update like it was yesterday. I was le this was actually really good timing too because I was I was in high school. I was leaving school early uh, because I really did not feel well. Um, and so I remember I was like walking out of school. My dad was there to pick me up. Um, for my last period of class, and I saw on my phone, like, a Twitter notification that the babies had dropped. <laughs> or the, sorry, the toddlers, not babies. The toddler update had dropped. They certainly did not do a baby update when I was still in high school. Um, but <laughs> I, I was, like, already on my way home from school, and I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> um... But what do I find my schedule? The days I take off? It's in my Discord, Avery. Um, I always post my schedule in the Discord. I posted it today for this week. Um, the past couple weeks have been weird because I was off a lot because Dan's family was in town. Things will be kind of back to normal now that they're gone. Um, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> we had kind of a weird couple of weeks with people in town, but uh, things should be toning down a little bit now. So, but yeah, I always post the stream schedule in the Discord. Yeah, Toddlers came out in, like, January 2017, so that was a while ago. Um, that actually is interesting to think about that, because... 
Um, I just Googled January 2017. That's useless. Toddler update Sims 4. What day was it? Because if we know what day it was. Oh, it was the 13th. What day is the 13th? It's a Friday. They wouldn't do it on the anniversary of the toddler update. They probably wouldn't care that much about the anniversary of the toddler update. But that's an interesting thought. The toddlers came out on January 17th. January 13th, 2017, sorry. That's Among Us Day. <laughs> We'd have to do a change of plans if they dropped the baby update that day. Uh, they'll probably do it on a Tuesday, though. I would, I would bet, because they usually do. Anyway, I do have plans that day, though. So, that's funny. But, um... I'm, this living room space is stressing me out, so I'm gonna furnish the bedroom instead. Colors... Purple. It can't be a toddler room, because... Well, I don't want to put any toddlers in this house. Um, yeah, next- that's like also next Friday. Oh god, that stresses me out. <laughs> It's so weird. This is gonna be like a really weird thing to say, I think, but I'm sure you can imagine what I'm talking about. But it's very odd how, like, when there's a big update looming, full transparency, I truly have no clue when these babies are being dropped. They did not tell me that. I don't know. And it's so weird, like, anticipating this giant thing. And I'm, like, obviously, for work, gonna have to drop everything and, like, probably make a lot of videos on them. Like, whenever it comes out, I should be ready. <laughs> as soon as the babies come out, I should have to be there and ready to go. <laughs> mm -hmm, we don't believe you. Avery, I understand that you're joking. If I, look, listen. If I knew when they were coming out, I would shut up. You think I would be sat here, like, speculating if I knew? And if I knew, oh, they're coming out at 3.32 p.m. on whatever day, you think I'd be sat here speculating about it? That would be really dumb of me. <laughs> That's like really treading a line with NDAs and stuff, you know? Um, like if I knew, I would shut up. That would be very dumb of me to talk about if I actually did know the truth, you know? Because um, you don't want to like leak it by accident or whatever, right? So... <laughs> um, when you know things, you keep your mouth shut. Promise. Um, seems very specific. Yeah, 3.32 p.m. on February 7th. <laughs> what day is that? February 7th is a Tuesday! Ooh. It wouldn't come out at 3.30, though. It'd come out at 1, usually. Um. <laughs> write that down. God, could you imagine if that was it? I don't know when it'll come out. I, I think February or March, though. That would be my guess. I also think they're probably going to give us an announcement before it comes out. I don't think they'll surprise drop it. So I think we'll know more about it before it actually releases. Um. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Foolish. Exactly. It's, if you've got an NDA signed, it's a smart thing to just avoid the topic. Just don't bring it up. Um. Mm. I do like that color. I will say that. I think that's nice. Purple, purple, purple. No. Wrong color purple. That's kind of a bit much, but I sort of like it. Maybe I'll put that there. We can do a desk. A desk could be nice. That bed is actually from Snowy Escape. It's really cute, isn't it? Um, let's see. I don't know what desk. <laughs> this is the snowy escape one, so it matches the bed. Is this is a kid's room? Yeah, I think so. I guess maybe it could be a teen's room. But it's not for the legacy challenge, no, it's just for fun. I don't have like a sim in mind to live here or anything. I'm, I'm just building it for fun. <laughs> Uh, we don't have anybody in particular. It's just thought it would be fun, so we are. Mm. Colors... purple. No Blarfy that is purple. That's fine. Oh, wait. 
bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. Okay. <laughs> Got it. You come in purple. See, that's kind of cute, right? Yeah, we're like practicing with purple for when we do the not so very build. <laughs> we're gonna be doing a lot of purple building soon, probably. So we gotta prepare ourselves. Uh, I do like that. It is kind of cute. I could probably pick like a lighter color for the rug, just to have it not be like so dramatically purple. Cause it was a bit dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that much. It was a little bit dramatic. I do like this though. Should you get Parenthood? Oh my goodness. I really like Parenthood. Uh, compared to the other game packs, I think Parenthood is one of my favorites. So I would, I would suggest yes. Uh, I think that you would probably like Parenthood a lot. I personally really like Parenthood. So um, I, I feel confident in recommending that one. Okay, that looks good, right? This is very purple on the inside. I was gonna do this as the bed in the other room, which is also fascinating. Spontaneous Turtle, Lexi, Grayson, Heather, Skell, and Late Lazo, and Lucky, and EK, and Simon, thank you for the subs. Okay. Oh, Jack, hey, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming in. I'm glad that you could be here today. No. That's kind of a darker color, but that's kind of nice about it. Right? Right? No, I'm not left-handed, Megan. Dan is left-handed though. Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Are you too? Cool. That's kind of fun. Um, What kind of kids room is this? What, cause they've got a, t a computer? I think a lot of kids have technology stuff nowadays, right? Um, okay. And it's an old computer. They've got like a, <laughs> a leftover one. It's a hand-me-down. So it's fine. <laughs> Did she leave? Oh, oh, she's staring right at us. I saw everybody say hi, Snap. She's. <laughs> She's looking right at us. <laughs> That's cute. Um, I like that. Oh, I shouldn't have made eye contact with her because now she might leave and come sit with me. Which is good for me, but not so good for you. As people that want to watch her. <laughs> She's just sitting up. I hope she doesn't leave. I would be so sad. I might give them a little beige rug too. Beige seems like a safe bet. Mm. This bed is from Cats and Dogs actually. It's cute, right? <sighs> Let's see. No, hate. Too purple. We could always do like, oh God. We could always do white. I don't know. I don't know. I know, SG, I don't like thinking about it. <laughs> Those of you who people ask all the time, so in case you asked and I didn't see, um, Snap is gonna be uh, 15 this year. She's, she's 14 right now. I like that. That's cute. Oh, Abandoner. You wanna come stay with me, Snappy? Come here. You wanna come stay with me? Jump up. Come on. I knew it. As soon as I looked at her, I knew she was gonna come over. <laughs> I realized immediately that I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's okay though, it's fun. It's just not on the cat cam anymore, but that's all right. That's all right. Um, that's like horrible. I don't know. I don't know what color rug to give them. I'd like to get some cute paintings on the wall too. Turn something to my hair. Oh yeah, I cut my hair yesterday. Um, 
I don't know. It's I always cut it about this length, so <laughs> it's not my best, uh, my finest haircut that I've given myself, but I did cut it yesterday. So it is shorter, again. Um, maybe, oh, that like orangey red color could be good if we could find a rug like that. Don't like that one. It looks great, okay, good. <laughs> I'm not accepting any uh, comments otherwise at this time. <laughs> if you think my hair looks bad, well, frankly, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> Never notice it growing till it's shorter, it's like magic. Yeah, I know, I'm the same way, I like, I, I just reach a point where I'm like, this is too long, the way it sits on my shoulders is annoying me, so I need to cut it again. And then I do, and then everybody's like, oh. But anyway, it looks silly when it's under my headphones, I've discovered today. Uh, but that's all right. <laughs> I only wear headphones every day on stream. So it's fine if it looks silly, it's fine. <laughs> Haven't had your hair cut in 18 months, really? I could not go that long. I, I cut my hair every like couple months. I do it myself though these days. Um, Cause I, I don't like it when it gets like long. I don't know. I don't know. Only notice it in old YouTube thumbnails. Yeah. <laughs> you look at the thumbnail, the like difference from day to day. Sometimes it's longer, yeah. But anyway. Um. I can't decide. Anyway. <gasps> Kat, you're getting engaged in November. That's huge. Um, thank you for the bits, by the way. And Pixie and Eliza and Chels uh, and Lonzi and Nicole. Um, hey, Nicole, I'm sorry I didn't see your thing sooner. Um, it would not be ridiculous to start streaming Sims builds. Honestly, honestly, a lot of a lot of parents stream on Twitch. That is super, super common. Um, do not feel like you're 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 too old or anything like that. Like a lot of people stream and a lot of people stream The Sims specifically. I think you have a lot of fun doing it too. Like pursue that hobby. If you're interested in playing The Sims and like building and stuff on Twitch, why not try it, you know? You don't need to buy like any special equipment to get started either. I mean, um, if your like laptop or whatever has a built-in microphone, obviously like it would be nice to upgrade, but you can just practice, see if you like it when you first start out and then um, choose to invest in it later on if you decide that you do really enjoy it, you know? Like, um, The Sims is just a lot of fun. The community on Twitch is a lot of fun. I think that you would have a great time streaming it. I uh, am very much pro start streaming. If you've been thinking about it, I think that it would be really well worth it. Um, okay. Okay. Let's see if there's maybe a cute chair. Um, that one kind of works, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the shorter dresser. Um, husband bought you webcam and a headset for Christmas. Oh, perfect. No, you should go for it. You even got stuff for it. Yeah, no, I think you would really enjoy streaming and I think that you should. That's super cool. Um, how much time do you suggest people put in if they just want to start streaming as a hobby? Uh, Bubble, whatever time you have. I mean, this is the thing. Like, it's, there's not like a right or wrong answer for how much you should stream. Um, and it's also like some people stream for like six hours a day. That's not something that I find feasible. <laughs> like, I find it sort of hard to talk for that long every day. Like, my throat kind of starts to hurt and stuff. It's fun occasionally, but like, um, some people stream loads, some people stream way less. Like, it really just depends um, on you and what your schedule is like and, and what works out for you and stuff. I don't think there is a right or wrong answer. However long you feel comfortable committing to streaming a day is... And you don't need to stream every day either, you know? A lot of people stream like two, three times a week. Nothing wrong with that. Seriously, whatever you are comfortable with, right? How did I get started streaming? Well. I was uh, sort of in like a, a lucky boat, I guess, because I already had a YouTube channel. Like I already did YouTube when I started streaming. Um, and I always really wanted to stream, but I didn't have good enough internet to stream. So like I, I really wanted to for a while. Um, and then when I went to college, my dorm room had excellent internet. It was great. <laughs> um, and so from there I could stream really easily. And so I started streaming when I was in college. Um, one, cause I was really lonely, uh, but also because I finally could. Um, and so I started streaming a, a lot, especially when I was in college because I was lonely. Um, 
which I guess maybe sounds kind of sad, but it's okay. <laughs> it worked out really well for me. Um, but anyway, oh, like our ethernet was so good, Willow Creek. It was so good. Iconic. My Wi-Fi in the dorm kind of sucked. Uh, like on my phone, terrible, but like directly connected to my PC, incredible. In like a thousand up. I'm not even kidding. It was amazing. Unmatched. <laughs> Just unmatched. Uh, I would never have a thing like that again in my life, so. Um, but yeah, we, our Wi-Fi was really bad. We had like cinder block walls that I think blocked it out a lot, but like the, when we directly connected, it was great. So. Um... I kind of like the little easel. That's cute. I don't really like that part. This rug is weird, but... Anyway, I've had um, great experiences streaming. It's cool because it's a it's a cool way to like meet people as well. Like you tend to become, I don't know, you become friends with like other people in the streaming community um, just by like hanging around, right? Like because you spend a lot of time talking to them. Like all of my closest friends I met through I met Dan through streaming. Like Dan used to mod for a, a, like an internet friend of mine. <laughs> like I wouldn't have met Dan if I didn't stream. You know, so like, like that's really cool about Twitch. There's, it's a really great place to meet people, especially people that have like really similar interests to you, you know? Um, Cause maybe you all play The Sims or, or you all like building in The Sims specifically and stuff like that. But um, hey, Kat, that is so cool. Kat just said that uh, they met the man of their dreams on Discord and um, they're getting engaged soon after that. See, the internet is so cool. <laughs> Um, Donnie, Lexi, again, everybody, thank you for the subs and bits and stuff, but yeah, I don't know, like, all of us here, we all have something in common, right? Like, we all like to watch people play Sims, <laughs> um, so, like, that's already a, a cool thing, I don't know, I don't know, um, really, Rosalie? Yeah, me and Dan, um, we've been together for almost five years now, um, so, and we met first through Discord, and like, well, kind of Twitch, but also kind of Discord, because we used to, we started talking in like a mutual friend server, basically. Um, would not have met if it were not for Twitch. Um, obviously did not meet him with the intention of uh, dating a person from a different country, but <laughs> uh, sometimes you just really hit it off with somebody. <laughs> and, you, and then that's where life takes you, <laughs> so. No, K4, a lot of people do variety games. Um, I think that, generally speaking, it's probably easier to find success uh, on the internet focusing on just one game, to like build a community that specifically likes one thing and then like introduce other things. But I'm also a very firm believer in the fact that like your stuff will be more successful if you enjoy it and if you are having fun. And so if you want to play more than just one game, like if you really love, you know, Animal Crossing and The Sims and, and Fortnite, <laughs> and you want to play all three of those, I, I firmly believe that your content does better when you're having fun with it, you know? So, um, I, I would encourage you to, to stream whatever you think is fun. Um, and people like to watch things that people that are having fun, right? So, um, but anyway, does that make sense? <laughs> I know I'm saying a lot of things, but, um, okay, cool. That's kind of cute, right? That painting is from the, uh, werewolf pack, actually. I'm gonna use that in here, because that's really nice. That is really nice. But, anyway, long story short, if you've been thinking about wanting to start streaming or, like, making videos on any platform, like maybe you want to be on TikTok, just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? You know, pick up a hobby, basically. <laughs> and if you like it, then you like it. Um, but I, I feel like uh, if you've been thinking about it, it's worth trying, you know? You know? Um, should I get like a, maybe some candles or something? Do you ever get bored of the Sims? <laughs> Josh, I'm a terrible person to ask because the answer is no, not really. <laughs> um, I, 
I know that a lot of people, like you said, tend to like pick up The Sims and then put it down and pick it back up and stuff. Um, I, I, uh, look, I really like The Sims. The Sims is, has been a fascination of mine since I was a child. I, <laughs> I just play a lot of The Sims. Obviously, like, there are times where maybe I'm, um, enjoying a certain aspect of it less or whatever. Um, but when that happens, it's like, oh, maybe I'll, like, do gameplay instead of building today or whatever, you know? Um, but anyway. Also, Farron, thank you for the raid. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and Matrix, and Ilya, and McKenna, and Megan, thank you all for the subs. Um, but anyway, I, uh, <laughs> I really like the same, so... I, I'm a terrible person to ask for that reason. Um, I've also gotten, I think, really good at entertaining myself with it. Obviously, like, uh, given that I've, like, I don't know, made up challenges and stuff, like, I, so, in that sense, it's a little bit easier for me, too, because when I'm, like, I don't know, not into cast or whatever, maybe I'll try something else and make up a new challenge or something, you know? Um, so, but, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go upstairs, shall we? We're getting there, actually, with this build. This is probably gonna be another one of those days where we finish it, like, exactly at- Oh, wait, let me add some stuff out here. Where I finish it, like, exactly at 7 when I usually get off stream. That's so funny. Um, weird how that kind of thing works out sometimes. Um, okay. Okay. I realized I forgot to do this. Cast not your thing? Yeah, I feel like cast has never really been my thing, either. I, um... I, I think, like you, I don't really feel like I'm that good at create a sim. Um, so it's not something that I, like, super enjoy doing. And I just, I much prefer building. Like, um, I find building in The Sims a lot more fun, obviously. <laughs> uh, cast is fun sometimes, but it's not, like, my, my go-to or whatever. But some people are the opposite, you know? And that's kind of the fun part of The Sims as well, is that everybody has their uh, favorites and their strengths. And it's kind of like three games. So. Marissa dress up gamer, yeah. <laughs> it's like a dress up simulator, it's fun. It's fun. Um, yes, you know what, Christine, I'm with you with that too. I think that I enjoy like inventing a backstory to a sim more than I enjoy actually making the sim, which is why a lot of times when I do builds, I'll like make up an idea of who lives there and like what they're like, but I don't actually make them. <laughs> you know, like I just have it in my head, but I, I never actually make the sim. I just prefer to like envision the sim <laughs> and what they would be like and what their interests are and then build them the house. But I won't actually build them, you know? <laughs> I just feel like I've, I, I think it's, it's also stems from the fact that I never really felt like fashion was like a huge strong suit of mine, you know? Like, it's just not like a thing that I ever felt like I was really that good at. So, I think that translates to The Sims a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Fashion is not her passion, no. <laughs> no, it is not. Okay, how about that? <laughs> um, Kat, it's so good to see you. Thank you again for the bits. And Melissa and Leah, thank you for the subs, too. Um, Sims is not really fashionable in any way. No, they've gotten a lot better, though. I think The Sims... Um, look, The Sims 4, she did not start off fashionable. She had her moments. And we can acknowledge that it was, it was like 2014, but it, it it's gotten a lot better, okay? <laughs> the Sims has sincerely improved in terms of their, um, like, clothing collection, I feel like. They, they've been doing a lot better, especially recently. Like, the more recent kits, honestly, are kind of trendy. It's pretty good. 
And uh, you have to keep in mind, like, like the time. Like, you know those galaxy leggings? Yes, the galaxy leggings were hot for their time. So... <laughs> And there's some things that were never hot for their time that are still in the game, but that's okay. That's okay. It's like, you know, when you look back on The Sims 3. <laughs> it is, it is, uh... Yikes. Yikes, you know? But yeah, things like High School Years has some great Create a Sim stuff. And, and dare I say... I think that we will probably look back on a lot of the things from like high school years in the future and be like, oh, that's like so 2021. Oh my God, you know? <laughs> but that's just, that's how life goes, isn't it? But we'll, we'll definitely look back on those things and think like, oh, yikes. <laughs> that was a 2020 TikTok trend, but that's okay. It's fun. <laughs> They have added some good stuff recently, though. Um, that's an interesting idea, Kitty. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, wardrobe in the small one by two space. Do you know what? We did talk about that earlier, actually, about putting a closet there. Um, I'm not sure if I want to or not. Because I find the closets to be a little... Well, a little ugly. Like, to me, the vibes are kind of off with that. I wonder if I could, like, open it up and put, like, a bookshelf in there or something built in. You know? All your Sims 3 Sims looked identical. Oh, I, when I was a kid especially, look, I, I still do this where I use the same, like, clothes over and over again for my Sims. But, like, especially when I was a child. Oh, same thing over and over and over again. I, I use the same outfits on every single Sim. <laughs> and I still do that, but like it was even worse when I was younger. I basically made, I, I had like two names that I would pick between two. I love the name Evelyn and Eloise. So I would be like nine years old making my like seventh sim named Evelyn and they all had the same outfits and the same hairstyle. <laughs> but I, listen, I knew what I liked <laughs> and I was, I kept it up. <laughs> but anyway, I was, I was a child and I, I had a method. Okay. <laughs> the heart wants what the heart wants. Exactly. I still find myself doing that sort of thing a lot. Not to the same, like, extreme scale, okay? But I definitely, like, find myself using a lot of the same, like, shoes and things. I find a pair of shoes that I like and I give it to all my sims and, you know, stuff like that. So. <laughs> Some things never change, I guess. <sighs> oh. Okay. I want to get, like, I sort of like the idea of a couple nicer lights. The base game combat boots. Oh my gosh, yeah. Especially back when the game first came out. I used that, those a lot, too. Even with CC, you can't seem to stop. Do you know what? I noticed that when I had CC, I, I did that more. I was even worse about it when I had CC. Because I would get, like, new CC and then, and then use just that. Like I would like get a new hair or like it more like new dress or something and then like love the new dress and then only use that new dress <laughs> for like a while until I finally was like, okay, this is too much. And then I would get a new CC dress and then use that one over and over again. So, um, and I guess we, that still happens with like new Sims packs too, though. Like you get a new Sims pack comes out and then, you know, <laughs> we get sort of excited about the dream home decorator kitchens and then... You only use the Dream Home Decorator kitchens for months on end. <laughs> so I actually feel like since I stopped using CC though, I think my, um, my Sims have been like more different looking. So, I don't know. I don't know. 
Now, if I played Sky Children of the Light, yeah, I streamed it a few times actually, River, recently. It's your birthday, Jennifer! Happy birthday! That's so exciting. Um, do you have any plans? Any anything exciting to look forward to? Mm, also, Benji and help. Thank you for the subs, by the way. I don't like this room. It's too big and it's upsetting to me. I wish that it was smaller. What if I made like a special desk nook? I don't sing a lot of birthday songs anymore. I don't do them at all, Kay. <laughs> Couple reasons. Number one, I sort of stopped doing them before I moved uh, because it was making me really anxious when people would yell at me that I missed their message. It made me think that I was like ruining people's birthdays because they would like, stop doing that. They would come into my chat and be like, you didn't sing me a birthday song in April of 2019 and it still hurts my feelings. <laughs> and then I would feel like really guilty about it. Um, and, and like, I don't know, it just, it was causing me a lot of anxiety. Like the thought that I would like miss someone's chat message and then ruin their birthday, <laughs> which wasn't actually happening, but they would say it like it was. Um, and then I lost my harmonica when I moved. So that kind of was the, I sort of sealed the deal, I guess. <laughs> is that I don't know where the harmonica is. Um, but anyway, it was that that was a, a part of it because people would get upset. I assume most of them were young, like they were kids and stuff, um, which didn't help my anxieties around it because I'm not trying to ruin a kid's birthday, you know? <laughs> like that sucks. That's not my intention. Um, but uh, yeah, I just it, it was hard to to catch everybody. So. Um, Lost the harmonica. No, I actually don't know where it is. Genuinely, I don't know where it is. I've like, I, it must be somewhere in here, but I went through all of the boxes and all of my desk drawers and I don't know where they are. But like, genuinely, I don't know where it is. I'm, I'm not lying about that part. <laughs> she told us in mods chat she's not lying. Yeah, see, you can't lie to the mods. That's how it works. I don't like any of these. Um, maybe I'll use this one. Better not show up. <laughs> no, if it showed up, it would be fine. I probably still wouldn't do any birthday songs though. <laughs> but yeah, it's been it's been a while since we did birthday songs. Um, because I just it was hard. So Okay. Okay. Anyway, it's not anybody's fault, but <laughs> I just felt bad, so I did I didn't want to upset anybody. So instead I chose to upset everybody. Makes perfect sense. Shreds in the charity stuff? No, bro, because my charity stuff is here. Look. Wait. A bunch of, a bunch of buttons. Red nose day. Like it's in this drawer in my desk and it the harmonica is not there. So my desk drawers are very organized. Except for the harmonica. <laughs> that one's missing. Um, I do like that, that's cute. This is better than before. I think it's nice. That's nice. Maybe we could get some like cute little paintings and stuff. Somebody said the cottage living painting. I like that. Cottage living. Beautiful. Okay, that's a nice room. I'll figure out this hallway later. We need to finish the rest of these rooms. Oh, I haven't painted any of them yet. Oh no. Okay, this was gonna be like a broom closet. So we'll do that next. Didn't know I streamed? Yeah, hey Sandy, I stream like literally every day. Um, well, I haven't streamed in a few days. <laughs> Uh, over Christmas, I was very busy, um, but uh, we're usually here literally every day. Um, and, and things are kind of back to normal now, so. <laughs> I'm normally here every day. The past week or so has been a weird one, but now, starting today again, we're back to normal, so. Um, what other, like... Maybe if we got, honestly, what if we got some pet stuff? 
Like, what if I put a litter box in here? I'm not sure that it's accessible, but if it's not, then whatever. <laughs> oh, we can get an ironing board too. I guess that maybe makes more sense than what I'm doing with the vacuums and stuff or with, th with this. Oh, we're not gonna put an arch in there. There's been a lot of discussion about this and we decided that, um, we decided that we did not like, where's the vacuums? Show me all. Uh, we decided that I didn't like how the arch looked and I would rather uh, not have one. I never put vacuums in my builds. That's kind of fun, right? And maybe we can get the decor box. I don't know if that'll fit. Oh. Maybe the decor box is more functional. <laughs> Maybe realistically the decor box makes more sense for our purposes. Is bust the dust worth buying? Um... <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the thing. I really, really want to like bust the dust. And I want to be able to recommend it because I love the idea of future gameplay kits. Like, I don't want to, um, I don't know, like, uh, turn the Sims team off of making gameplay kits, though it seems they already aren't going to do them anymore. But like, I really, really wish that we could get more. So I'm like, oh, bust the dust. But bust the dust is like... Look, it's not my favorite, okay? I don't like this. I think that I, um... I think that I don't want... purple everywhere. I think I might try and do something a little bit more simple. I like the idea of Bust the Dust because I like the idea of chores for my Sims. But in practice, uh, it turns out that I don't like Bust the Dust. <laughs> That's what I've learned about myself, is that I thought I would, but in practice, not as much as I expected. But if, so I guess uh, if you have, or maybe you've seen the laundry day pack or anything like that, and if you know that you don't like laundry, you won't like Busted Dust. Um, super similar vibes, obviously just different chores, <laughs> but super similar vibes, uh, those two things. So, I hope that helps. Okay, I'm really struggling with this purple situation at the moment. I don't know what else to put in here. Laundry in the Sims infuriates you? Yeah, it's, it's not necessarily, for me it isn't like, oh is that like a light purple? That's so cute. Um, but for me, it's not necessarily laundry's fault. Like, like, it could be good. But in practice, the Sims are like really, really bad at it. And they'll like pick up the laundry and then just put it on the floor. And you're like, no, put it in the washing machine. And then they pick it up and they just put it on the floor. And it's just, ugh. So annoying. <laughs> so if the Sims were like uh, smarter, I would like it better. But it, they're not, so I. It's hard to. It's really hard. You know. <sighs> I do like the dryer catches fire a lot. The dryer catching on fire frequently is fun for me. That's like a big win in my opinion. I like more of that sort of stuff. But, um, um, I'm not seeing a lot of like, oh, sorry, oh no, I made you all yawn again, sorry. Um, I, I'm trying to find like some purple furniture that isn't like too much. Maybe I'll get a different, I don't know. I like the idea of this. 
I feel like it needs more... I don't know. There's just something that's like not working for me <laughs> about this. What else came in Cottage Living? Oh, see, like this is cute. Maybe I could put this by the door. And that comes in nice colors. And then like, we'll get another light, a better light. And then, I don't know. This white is not doing it for me, but I had a hard time finding purple sofa that I liked, so. There's not a lot of pastels. And when they are, it seems like they're a bit small or like kind of modern, like this is too modern for me. Oh, maybe this one? In the, no. No. Sheer parenthood curtains, maybe, maybe that could work. Let's try that, parenthood. Oh. Oh, props not. I don't know, we'll see. Quinn, Star, Soup, Snarty, Oblet, Trixie, Suds, thank you all for the subs. Are you finished the build today? Yeah, Christine, I'm almost done. It's just this room. Everything else is done. Coffee table? Yeah, I had one, Rosa. I deleted it because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep the one that I had picked. I had this one before. I just had deleted it because I was thinking about picking a different one. Um, but I, I did have a coffee table, I swear. <laughs> Maybe we should use some, like, wood. Accents. Yeah, this is the only room that's left, so we'll, we'll finish this tonight. It's probably going to be pretty good timing, too. Um, let's get some more plants. Yeah, the wood cabinet looks better than the purple one, for sure. I got a little bit carried away with the amount of purple that I was using. Yeah, we're gonna stream Sims 3 this weekend, Hilda. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're, I have a stream scheduled for Saturday where we're gonna play Sims 3. So you are in luck. Um... Don't like that, actually. Sorry. Changed my mind. I'm not sure what in The Sims 3 I will do, but I will do something in The Sims 3. I haven't decided, so I'm going to give myself um, the opportunity to change my mind. The desk? Yeah, we talked about putting a desk there, but now with that cabinet thing, I'm not sure if it'll fit anymore. We'll have to see. Okay, I do think that that helps. Maybe I could get some umbrellas. We have a desk already in a couple of the rooms. Um, a, the kids' room and the primary bedroom has a desk. So we do have some desks, luckily. Uh, let me get a thermostat. Daycare career to prep for infants? Oh my goodness. You might be onto something. We could play with the daycare stuff in The Sims 3. I love the daycare stuff in The Sims 3. That sounds like fun. Oh, that's cute. That's a, that's a really good idea. Okay, we'll do that. We will do that. I miss that. Oh, those were the days. I love Sims 3 Generations. <laughs> Okay, uh, base game, get some books, I don't know, daycare rags to riches, oh, they made like so little money doing the, the daycare stuff, that would be so hard. <laughs> we do have some purple, but see how it's ugly purple? Do you see how it like isn't... Oh, it's sad. You're really ruining this game. There's too much white everywhere. The living room rug is from Parenthood, actually. 
Let me look at cats and dogs. Purple accent chair. Oh, we tried. I couldn't find anything that worked. The purple ones are all terrible. Like, the, I'm not kidding. The swatches were awful. It didn't match. We've been through a lot today. <laughs> a lot of the things that we've tried have, have like, uh, not gone over very well or just not worked. So, um, trust me, we've, <laughs> we've tried it all. You think the accent chair is throwing it off? <sighs> you don't understand what we've been through. There is no purple ones. Nothing. I'm not kidding. There's lots, but the colors are awful. What am I gonna do? Use this? You wanna talk about something throwing it off? Imagine. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let me look at cottage living. A warmer wall color. We could do something different on the walls, but... Um, rocking chair instead. I like this chair. You want something to change the chair? I really like the chair. <laughs> I think it looks cute. Um, there's so much open space. Uh, so I'm Delia Quinn, thank you for the subs. The one from Cottage Living has a, if it has a purple swatch. Oh, it doesn't. Guys, I'm serious. The, the purple chair options are, are grim. The purple options in general are grim. I've been like sitting here scrolling through every single purple thing in the game. We do have this, which is cute. Doesn't fit anywhere though. Oh, I could put that outside. That might be kind of fun. Uh. Oh. Oh. Switch. Switch. Way better. Way better. Oh my gosh, die Jerry, we don't need you. This is way nicer. Okay, I'll probably lower it to fit with that. Oh, okay. That is really cute actually. Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> I don't know what to put in this big open space. It's so empty. It's so big. Um, back to looking through every single purple thing in the game. I already used that there. Piano? Yeah, people had suggested a piano earlier. So there was kind of talk about that, but it's a little bit big. You know, I wonder if I could get like a couple extra chairs over here. Obviously they won't be purple, but from Cottage Living. Or even just one additional chair. There's no TV. So that's something to consider as well. That's bad, isn't it? Entrance table? Oh, we have one of those. Desk in the window instead of a hutch. We talked about desk first. And I don't like the keyboard because the keyboard looks too modern. I wish we had like an upright piano, like a real piano. That would be fun, but we don't, so. I don't know. Maybe I'll size the little side table down. Put a lamp. Or maybe the flowers could go there. Okay. That seems cute. Pet stuff, knitting stuff. All ideas. I guess like a yarn basket could be cute. Because that might give us like... Oh, there's a little bit more purple on that. Maybe I'll put it over here. Okay, that helps with this side being sad. And then... I wonder if we could try to like... 
and close this more. Just for the sake of having some more shape. Another dining table. We'd have three, though. I feel like three is too much. Don't you? And we have an easel with paint stuff there. Yeah, you can get to the sunroom. The door's over here. We didn't forget it. <laughs> Promise. Uh, Promise I didn't forget the door to the sunroom. Um... Maybe I'll put, like, I don't know. You guys keep saying things like reading room, and look, it's a great idea. It's a genius idea, even. But, like, you think I haven't considered putting a chair here? There's nothing that matches. <laughs> the colors are terrible. Uh, that's the hard part. It's like, these are all lovely ideas. It's just a matter of, like, what is actually going to match. And the answer is nothing. Nothing matches. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, let's try that. I can make this work. Chess table, we have a chess table outside already. So I don't know if I should put another one. As you can see, we are really struggling with our selections here. It's not for not so berry, no, it's just for fun. We don't have any particular um, Sim living here. It's just a fun, well, it might not seem fun. <laughs> it's just that this room I've put off this whole time because I didn't know how to furnish it. And now, and now we're furnishing it and struggling, but um, this isn't like for any particular sim or anything or any challenge, it's just fun. Um, let me look at purple stuff. You stand by purple penguin TV, oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, all of the art is making me feel sad. What about like wall decor? Mm. No, cat tree next to the chair. Do you think it's too tight back there? We could do, we don't have a pet bowl anywhere. So we, oh, we could even get like a pet bed. The little pet bed. In like a subtle little color. That's not very subtle, is it? That's like very pink. Which is maybe too much, but... Pet bed, I don't know. Struggling with that. We could always do their food bowls back here. And we could say it's pet's food bowl. You think a rocket would fit right in? You know what? Maybe you're onto something. What if we put like a giant rocket ship just in the middle of the room? You know? That, that might be the solution. Cupcake machine, call it a day. <laughs> oh, the season's purple curtains are like a slightly different shade trash bag. We tried those and we didn't like how they looked. The like the shade of them was wrong. At this point, I I feel like I've done and tried everything. <laughs> I don't like that rug under this. I need a different one. I want it to be like plain. Um Oh. I don't know. I don't know. The food bowls are a nice touch though, I think. And we could just have... Oh. I need like a little skinny rug. Why is finding a little skinny rug with like not terrible swatches so difficult? Even this one, it's just plain. Like, I know it's stone, but whatever. You like the Seasons one? The one that had the, uh... Oh no. We're going back again. Oh, this one. With the swirls. 
I guess the swirls are kind of cute. And you know what? It's really small. So that might be a nice place to hide the pet bowls. Is there any other little sneaky pet things we could get? I think it has to be for a dog though, not a cat, because I didn't put a litter box anywhere. That's okay. Do you know what? It's simple. It's not the best, but it works. Let me get a- oh, let's get a grill. I love that idea. Because we could totally put that back here. Is there a bookshelf? Yeah, there's books everywhere. And the last thing I want to do is get some sort of painting or something on this. So what I just did was remove the wall so that I could um, put a painting here. See, I can like pretend to place a painting on the wall and then put the walls back. There is no TV, but they have a couple computers. There is a trash can, it's outside, and we have one inside the house too. I think I like this house. I feel like it's cute. I do think that there's a lot of open space here, which is kind of bugging me, but what can you do? I'm not sure there's much more I want to add to it. <laughs> Need a dog bed? Yeah, I don't always add them into my builds. We can somewhere, I guess, if you really want to, but maybe I'll put it in this bedroom upstairs. I don't always add dog beds into my builds because I feel like in my mind, I envision that actually looks kind of cute. Oh, I didn't paint the hallway. In my mind, I sort of envision that the sim would, um, the dog would like end up sleeping on the couch anyway or whatever, you know? So I, I don't tend to give them to my sims. <laughs> but you're right, we should. Maybe some sort of like, or I could do the same wainscoting. I don't know. I don't like this to the yard from the sunroom. You wanna like have access to the outside? I don't know if I wanna change how it looks because I really like how the outside looks right now at the moment. I think I'm happy with it. Yeah, it's hard to do the walls in a lofted space. <laughs> that part's not so easy. Um, I think this is cute though. The inside isn't like ridiculously aggressively purple, you know? And that's nice of it, I think. Anyway, here's the outside. There's like a little front yard. Uh, in the back, we have some plants, little table, grill. Um, there's also this little back patio that has a chess table. On the inside, there's an entryway. We've got the living room we just did. We have the kitchen in here and like a breakfast nook. We have a formal dining room, little bathroom, one kid's room, two kid's room, parents' room. So it's a three bed, one bath house. Probably so expensive. Um, 63,000, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I built a little purple cottage. Hashtag Lil Simsy, there we go. Connect. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Okay, we're fine. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the stream, everybody. I thought that was fun. Stream schedule update. Tomorrow, Tomorrow, uh, we're going to uh, play Animal Crossing. I stream in the morning on Wednesdays. So I'll be here at nine o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. Then on Thursday, around this time, like normal stream time, like we did today, we'll play some Not So Berry. Um, we'll do some more building on Friday. On Saturday, we're gonna play The Sims 3. Um, that's the general schedule plan. I always post the stream schedule in my Discord if you're curious. It's in like the stream schedule channel at the very top. Um, it has like more specific than just like I stream every day at four o'clock Eastern time. It's like, I'm gonna play this on this day and this on this day. Obviously subject to change, but generally that's my plan. So it should be fun. I'm looking forward to our plans this week. Um, those of you that have seen my Animal Crossing streams from like last year, if you're familiar with my Florida themed island, we're gonna decorate that some more tomorrow. And I haven't played on it in a while because I'm playing on like opposite hemispheres. So it was like winter and now it's summer again. <laughs> so now we can play on it again. Um, that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. So, oh, hi Dan, that's gross with the tier 358 months. 
Uh, spoiler, Katie, thank you for the subs. And I'm gonna go see who's live. Also, Carly, thank you for the bits. I really appreciate that. I'm so sorry I couldn't stream much the past couple weeks, chat, but we are back. Everything is back to normal, I swear. <laughs> um, all is well and we are back. Um, but I think, um, you know what? My friend Shella has a cat cam today, as per usual, and I have a 31 month resub to share. So I think I might go over there. Look, there's a fish. I don't know what she's doing, but there's a fish <laughs> in our Sims game. Um, but I think I'll go raid Rochella, and we can see her cat, we can see her build, we can see her fish, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll catch you all uh, tomorrow, everybody, after that. But say hi to Shella for me, I love and miss you already. Um, thanks for hanging out, it's been really fun, and I'll see you all later, okay? Okay, goodbye! Stop streaming!